Yeah. Cool, cool. One of these days, I want to get. We're we're, we're gonna do it. After, hey, Rihanna, how's it going, baby? After this whole quarantine thing, we're getting bartenders in here, and we're we're gonna have bartenders for the show. Right. Yeah, this is really. This quarantine is sucking, man. We can get bartenders. You know, we've been told we can't have strippers. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> we can't have strippers, no bartenders, no guests. Fuck this shit. It sucks. Well, that's that's what we're that's what's being suggested. But um, you know, it's what's the is it does that count for family members also? I mean, when does it end? You know. Um. If you have a, if you have a large family, you know. Hey. Go ahead, I mean, I'm I I'm doing my best to stay away from my dad, but we promised not to talk about this to these guys today. I said no coronavirus. Oh, okay, cool. Here we yeah. go. ahead, Spiro. I don't think anybody wants to talk about it anymore. We're all fucking sick of it, right? So, and you know, like I, I barely, I saw my mom probably a week and a half ago, just for a second to drop something off for her, but that was it. You know, mm. same thing with my dad. I left his groceries outside on the front porch. Oh. Huh. Just because well, my, my dad's like really susceptible to all of it. So. Real world. I know, right? A little crazy world. It sucks. It's Big Brother. It's Big Brother, man. My conspiracy is going nuts. Yep. It's going crazy right now. It's. Oh, yeah? What's your conspiracy about it? Well, uh, supposedly Trump's sending everybody money, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the payoff to make everybody love him, right? Okay. So Sparrow, that, let's not knock that over. That's that's the payoff. So it's basically uh, bring. That's how you get everybody back. With you, you print more money, send that money out, right? Tax us when it comes back around. So it's not like you're losing any money. Yeah, yeah. Tax us all for it, and then boom. I, now, uh, I'm. Uh, what I do think though is that sending people money is a. That's a very good thing. I mean, that is something that a lot of. Uh, world leaders definitely would not do. Yeah. But my conspiracy starts to go that way. Well, I want to know because we have we have listeners right now in Australia. Like, um, hey, Dean, what are they doing over there for the amount of jobs lost? Are they actually um, are are they doing a stimulus package the same way they are here? Now they're saying they're thinking like six hundred dollars a week. They're going to be sending out all U.S. Amer- like all U.S. citizens. I don't believe it though. I don't believe it. I don't either. Especially not for me. I don't think it's coming to business owners. Yeah, I don't either. That means that means the the fucking band people like us, like me and Rachel, for all those gigs that we lost, we're not getting paid back for that, and the government's not going to fucking pay for that either. No, but it, but even if the government, even if you're getting the check, it's going to be doubled in your taxes. Next, yeah, next year it just will. And they're saying now they're talking. Boy, I sound like a. I sound like fucking mic yeah dude. you sound like a fuddy duddy i sound like a fuddy duddy man it was just like i sound like the guy that complains about the government all the time but still cashes the welfare check yeah y- right? you know so fucking stupid ass government the government yeah they, they complain about big business and they complain about corporations yet they're constantly begging for money you know yeah. so it's uh that's how i feel right now so i think i'm gonna stop um, Hans is actually online because hey, he's we're, we're social distancing, and um, he says that they're actually including business owners. That'd be great, man. That'd be really great. I'll I'll see it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, believe we'll it. we'll see. But I mean, uh, I mean, Trump's a business owner. I mean, you think he'd be sending business owner money? But uh, him, but, my mom's on here. She yeah. says they're saying if you filed taxes within the last two years, you will get that check. I know. I know. I don't I, believe. Don't me. get my don't get my hopes up, guys. Believe me, over the years, it's been many, many times that money didn't come to me. Right. And and you know what? I don't need your motherfucking <laughs> money, Catherine. You're I right. do, but I don't. <laughs> Catherine's yeah. right. She said this is no coronavirus talk. This is what this episode was not supposed to be. And and roll done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, episode number 32. 32 or 32 in the hole. 30, Jesus Christ. 32 in the hole with, Thir- with the sparrow <laughs> with the butt sparrow right next whining. to me. <laughs> yeah, man. So, but, you know, uh, Miss, Miss Sparrow Butt's been overly um, needy lately. I don't know what happened. Can you, guys, I- can you guys hear Sparrow whining? I think everybody can. 
I think my that? I think my internet just froze. Why? What looks like we're moving? Uh, oh. I'm hey there. guys, everybody that's um on the on the chat, can you guys please give me a wave and let me know that you are still seeing something? Cause I'm not seeing shit. I mean, the internet. I know. Wait till the internet goes down. They're like, oh, they're talking about stuff. My 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 thing is that once once the internet goes down, no more babysitter porn. Um, I had to laugh at that myself. You see how I did that? No sparrow? more babysitter porn. You see how Sorry. I did that sparrow? I'm trying. See I did that sparrow. But listen, I, I'm new. I laughed at it myself. I'm new to this. Tech That's when world. you know the joke didn't hit when you laugh at it yourself. Well, how are you gonna hear them anyways? What you need to do? <laughs> I'm talking about. You, I'm talking about you. I know, but I'm trying what to you do need the tech to do. Stuff I have too. so many comedian friends. What you need to do? You keep rolling. And you or you let them sit in it, right? You make the joke, let them sit in it. Okay, they're, they're, well, all right. Well, they're saying that they still see and hear as loud. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna get a little pad here that makes a, a laugh track when I'm trying to when I'm trying to do something else. <laughs> I, I, you I, hate laugh tracks, though. I hate <laughs> I hate laugh tracks. Not the show I was on. I hate fucking old sitcom laugh tracks. It drives me insane. <laughs> Although what's funny is like, but you love you love married Seinfeld. With, Seinfeld, Married with Children, those are okay for some reason. I don't know why. That's funny. But if you focus on just the laugh tracks during a, a show, it's irritating. Well, Especially if you're watching like the Hughleys or something lame like that, right? But why would you laugh? Why would you watch something that's irritating to you, anyways? I was a kid. I'm just saying when it was on. <laughs> but it would just they would just say anything normal. And just a normal thing, like, like, hey, honey, and everybody like, ha, 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 or, yeah, yeah. they walk on in. Or the, <laughs> the ethnic kiss, woo, right? Even as a kid, I was like, fuck you, yeah. Even as a kid, I got mad Even at as that. a kid watching fucking, watching Saved by the Bell? Uh, no. Yes, actually. Well, Every time Zach came in, everybody's all, woo. That's right, they did. Didn't yeah. They? Every anytime he makes an appearance, and anytime he hugs Kelly, he goes, Ooh. right? That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> so dumb. But it works. I mean, look, it worked. It worked. Yeah. It's so funny to watch those shows now, though, isn't it? I love watching old sitcoms. They make me. They make me not think about stuff. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not. It doesn't make my head hurt with the all the old, shit that's going around. The old around. sitcoms and the old bullies. Like, the old bullies are the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could you imagine that shit happening in schools today? With the, with the bully and he's got the rolled up sleeves and the, <laughs> and the, and the tight jeans. He looks like uh, Ian Ziering and shit, right? And then... And he's going up like, like but you know what, bro? Mullet. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fucking hot. He didn't say fucking. You know what, bro? I'm feeling hostile right now. You might not want to mess with me, okay? And they're like, <laughs> and they're like, why is he so angry? He's rich. And then, and then it goes back to his home, and he has a hard home life because his father works all the time trying to make a living. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That, that's that's how it always went. That's right. how it always was. You know, my favorites were the uh, were the the drug abuse episodes when they're getting like the drug abuse episodes. They're getting all hopped up on fucking caffeine pills. Like you need to stop taking this. Remember what the was it? Uh, marijuana, uh, right? What, what was it? What was a stripper girl's name in? Uh, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, she played the stripper in Saved by the Bell. What, guys, yeah. help me out here. What was I, her name? Her play, she was Jesse, right? Yeah, Save, Jesse. That's it. That's, Jessie. Not, that's not her real name, no. No, but uh, but Jesse. There's Who an episode of Saved name? by the Bell where she she feels all this pressure to get great grades on her SATs, and so she's yeah. taking caffeine yeah, 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 pills, yeah, yeah. and like you have a real problem. Yeah, now it's Adderall, guys. Yeah, yeah, Adderall, and they're on top of that drinking as much friggin' energy drinks they could possibly drink you know what god bless them get those fucking right. straight A's. get your grades up serious get your ass to college serious what they, make what, something of yourself what they did to get those grades up god bless them right i didn't do any of that shit i was like fuck the grades <laughs> yeah, this is stupid yeah so obviously i was wrong i should have done adderall or i should have done caffeine pills and got my grades up <laughs> yeah you should have done caffeine pills and got your grades i should have <laughs> which also when does caffeine pills ever get your grades up cheers girl wait Oi, baby. Don't I'm sorry. I am trying to figure this mm. damn thing out. It's freezing over here. I really hope that everything's rolling on your guys' end, but I can't see a lot of comments. Should you uh, start it and stop it again? No. 
No, because we have a lot Oop. of people logged on. Do people don't want to. People don't want to sit here and listen to all the fucking bullshit that's been going on. They want to. They want to sit back and have a drink with us. Are you guys having a drink with us? I really well, hope you guys are. I drinking. mean, we were talking about Saved by the Bell. I mean, yeah, that is definitely that's the best. Not it. I love Saved by the Bell. It's streaming on all Hulu now. All of them. Saved by the Bell, right? AC Slater. Yeah. You got nine hundred two and zero Melrose Place, right? <laughs> you got. What else was rolling at that time? Um, what was the other little comedies, little sitcom comedies? Oh, I like Martin. Martin? Martin. That was... Yeah. Even looking back, if you look back at that, that was such a great show. Martin it was Lawrence. Genius. Martin Lawrence was genius. He played was all it, the characters. Was it, was it him? Was it, uh, yeah, Wanda. And he comes in... Uh, no, no. Oh, no thinking, that, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Jamie. Uh, Jamie Fox. No, no. It was... Um, what was the name oh of his girl God, character how, he played? How do I, f- I forgot. <laughs> god damn what god damn what was it ah anyways they were all good all the characters he right. played the mailman too right? yeah yeah <laughs> my Aunt lawrence oh and fresh prince fresh prince fresh was, prince fresh prince was good you know of course married with children killed everybody tom over here saying party of five full house Full family, house. family matters, step by step. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You got the straight TGI Friday or TGIF fucking Sunday. Like Friday. No, TGIF Fridays. I would watch with my oh. with my grandmother. Oh. The whole lineup on ABC. Oh, you remember the channel. It was mm-hmm. pretty good. Because after that, they had dinosaurs with the baby. Not the, Not mama. the baby. Not the, Not the mama. mama. Yeah. yeah. And he smacks the, yeah. the, <laughs> the frying pan. We watched that recently. It looks ridiculous. I loved it though. Growing up, I had, I still had. Well, I don't still have it, but I had the, I had the baby doll, and he, he talked and stuff, it, and it, it was looked, adorable. I loved him. It looks ridiculous though. I think it's awesome if you watch it, right? Like it's so weird how bad it was. I don't know. I'd get high and watch that. Yeah. Well, did, well, we did that already. <laughs> Alf. Remember Alf? Alf. Alf would eat the cats. Oh, he would. Yeah, he was. That's what he. It's what he ate on on Al Smack or something. And his, he ate. They the ate cats. cats. Oh my god! And so he that's would constantly he would constantly be after the family cat. Whoa! <laughs> you don't remember that? No. We got to get into Alf. And as a kid, I was such a cat lover too. So I was like, "What are you talking about?" Oh, uh, my mom says, "In living color." Boom! Boom! Boom. In living color was. I, love that. I keep on going. My mom. Like, <laughs> sorry, guys. My family tweets in and, and chimes in on these conversations very much. She's a part of my life. I, I like how you called her. it tweeting in. I did say tweet. They really tweet tweet Twitter really got us then. You're calling it a tweeting in. Well, I didn't mean to, and I hate Twitter. I'm not a good Twitter person. I'm not even. I don't. Know. I'm a good. I'm a twit, but I don't know how to Twitter. The the good thing about Twitter though, right, is that you can you can post like filthy pictures and stuff. Yeah, I see a lot of ass pictures on on Twitter. But all day. All day. All day butt pictures. Straight porno. Do you know? Did I tell? I told you on Instagram. I'm deleting anyone that shows butt pictures. Yep. Straight up, I think that's a good call. Yeah, I, it, it's too much, too much butt. Too much butt. Too much. What happened to the titties? Are we done with titties? Are we done with cans? I don't know. You know, like I, I know plenty of girls with boob jobs. Yeah, but they're not as popular. Like you know, you're the the butts are the big thing now. Butts have been the big things for the last like fifteen years. But th- there's a position ever since J Lo became J Lo. Butts but, became the next big thing there, to get. To me, there is a there is an an unattractive position that these girls keep getting into when they're showing their butts, and yeah. it it looks like when you're in the woods and they're taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> ex- oh, oh, you mean the one where they're squatting down and it's got the g string coming up, but they got the high heels on. Yeah, yeah it yeah. looks like it looks and it's like from behind. It, it looks, looks like they're like, about to poop. It looks like we're stuck in traffic and she's like, baby, don't look at me. She's like, I gotta poop. I gotta, I gotta I, poop. It's so unattractive. <laughs> I don't get it. There's, You know why it's unattractive too? Because that rarely hap. It never happens in sex for the most part where they're up on their feet. And when it does. Know, it, and they're bouncing up and down. It, even when they do. It's not even that good of a position. You know, you're just like, okay, this is fun. This is freestyle. That's, that's, that's a prime position for queefing. Like literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's something a man doesn't understand. <laughs> you're so open there, and it, it, the suction cup. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some air pockets. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, girls. La- you can't be doing that. Ladies, porn. stop with the with those pictures, though. That's what we think about. We're like, what? What are you taking a dump, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Apparently, guys like it. 
Like, holy shit. We sh- got poop emojis. Hi, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> like, what we do like, there's good ones where you're standing up and then you arch your back against the wall or something. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's hot. But when you're when, just... When your butt touches the wall and then the, and the oh, that's pretty back good. touches the wall. That's and you good. Got that, you got that... It makes your stomach look smaller and your boobs stick out and that's your legs good. look longer. Yeah, yeah. That's the shit. Yeah, but... I'm about s- that. Stop with the pictures where it looks like you're 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 blowing it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> stop with the dump pics. Yeah, it's so unattractive. I, I don't. If there's any guys that like that, let me know. Because that shit doesn't work with me. There's man. a lot of guys that like dump. Oh, just saying. Oh, that is a thing, isn't it? It is a total thing. That's a, what is that called that they like feces? Finkelphilia. Ah, you know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Finkelphilia. <laughs> They're finkelphiliacs. When do you find that you like that though? Like, when, I don't at know. What you age? have a lot of time on your hands. At what age did it? You find that you want to be in a it, outhouse with? It's with when you people. popped a bone or taken a dump. See, that's the problem. Oh. <laughs> Do guys get boners getting taking poops? No. Because girls, when we pee, we get the pee shivers, and sometimes it, you, when your um, when your Kegel muscle closes up, it can give you an extra special tingle. Really, we don't. Yeah, yeah. We don't get that. I'm not saying like you're gonna. You're, it, it's an extra special special moment, but you know, like we get that. Woo. No, there's something about our dicks that knows not to touch the bowl. It's pretty good. It knows to leave the bowl alone. Yeah, but if you're dumping and all of a sudden your bone, like your bone, will go up as it comes out, you can't. You can't go. If you have a bone, you can't go. <laughs> you can't, I'm it, just picturing it. The body, <laughs> the body knows. Well, then how do you get a blumpkin? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, how does a guy get turned on taking a dump when a girl's going down on him? Hey, who came up with that? Who's the first guy? This one's sick bastard. Who's the first guy to He's be like, like, look what I can get this girl to do. No, no, I'm guaranteed it's in a frat. He comes in, guys, guys, check this out, man. Fucking Blumpkin. Right? The, the first guy. I'm picturing his name. I'm picturing his name is Todd or something. And his hair is like really greased to the yeah, side. Yeah. You know, his name's Todd. And he's trying to get into this frat. He's from Tennessee, you know. <laughs> he's got like the... He's got the Bieber hairstyle because he's no no no. It's not the Bieber. He's got the perfect part because I'm guessing. Oh okay. I'm guessing it's in the fifties or something. Oh yeah. (laughs) I I don't know. know. That's what I'm picturing. What was his name? Uh, Todd. 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 And he but when he got his first Blumpkin because that was how this sorority chick got to get into her thing, he. He had to take his suspenders off. It was a whole thing. Took his suspenders off, you know. And <laughs> this is your character? This is my character, Todd. <laughs> Blumpkin Todd is what we called him. Todd Blumpkin? Todd, Todd, yeah, Todd Seymour Blumpkin was his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you know, and, and, you know, we called him Blump for short. <laughs> We're, We're like, Blumpy. what's up, Blumps? <laughs> and he come in like, Blumpkin, he come in, man, his girl. And he, <laughs> and he ended up marrying the girl. He married her. He's off. Now I'm into something. So he was he in gave me something. I'm into it now. Something. And she's down. No, she, she loved it. She was into fickle-philia, right? So she... She's all, give me all that poop smell yeah, in my nose. So she's thinking, like, if you, can, if you can blow a load while you're done... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like this from both ends. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, we're idiots. <laughs> and she's like, oh, she's like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. And she's just taking the poop and painting she's it on to, her. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> and we uh, laugh at the same thing. This is why we do this. Let me, and this let me is drink why my we are we are together. <laughs> we drink my idiots. blumpkin color coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We're five. I'm five. I'm sorry, guys. I have no couth. Can we that. can we look that up? Who invented that name, Blumpkin? I don't. I don't was know. Was it was it know. from Charles P. Blumpkin? Like Charles he was an actual. That was his real last name, but it just happened. That'd be that'd be funny. Hey, Pablo. Okay, we got Pablo from uh from Argentina chiming in. I want to know how the world is going on over there, and do they have Blumpkins also? <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I I think so. I don't. You know what though? I I've met many of they just people do that just don't. They don't understand. Like they're like, what? Because we're fucking idiots. We're <laughs> idiots. Because like, America's a country full of dirt. We're idiots. We're idiots. Oh God, we're dumb. That's just. <laughs>
Because, but it's funny. And do you know? It's fucking funny. Like you know, funny. Do they have fraternities all around the world? I think so. Yeah. I mean, they have colleges all around the world. Do you know? I didn't know that fraternities actually existed. I thought that it was only in movies when I was a kid. What? I didn't know a fraternity was like a real thing. I thought it was just in movies. Like, a, <laughs> you know, did you think that colleges were a real thing? With, with, no, I knew people went to college because my dad yelled at me all the time. You're going to go to college. Right. And you're like, nope, sorry, dad. Which I didn't. Uh, but so good. It didn't work. Right. Spring effect. Good job, pop. <laughs> no. Good job, pop. <laughs> good job. You know, like in Wedding Singer. N- no uh, self-taught, you know, Buscemi. Yeah, yeah. No thanks to you, pop. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's true. I really didn't know there was a fraternity. And I, I thought it was just something in movies. I didn't Because I didn't have any, you know, even in high school, I didn't know. You didn't know anybody that went to college? I didn't know anyone that went to college. I didn't know anyone. or And if they did, it was an, a fraternity like college. It was just, you know, it was like DeVry Institute or something. Right? Oh, I want to, okay, I want to know if any of our, uh, if any of our interactors there on Facebook have we're in a fraternity, or uh, what's a what's a girl one? Frat. No, Frat. no, it's fraternity oh, and sorority. Uh, sorority, yeah, sorority. sorority. Right. Let me know if you guys were and uh, what weird shit went down because of that. Because our our ideas from what happened through college, you know, is that it's a major party all the time. Girls are doing stuff. Guys are doing stuff. People are raiding panty drawers and. Running th- around with donkeys. I think it's very <laughs> toga I th- parties. I think it's very true, <laughs> but I don't think it's true where I'm from. You well, know what I mean? Me too. I mean, I. I, I mean, there's where you know there's Long Beach State where I'm from. I mean, that's a that's a it's a huge college. Yeah, it's a big college. And there's fraternities, but I truly don't think that it's like that there. I think it's more like that in like the Midwest or I don't know. But when uh, um. Uh, like I said, I just I'm thinking. I don't yeah. I don't know for sure. No, I'm pretty sure there's fraternities in all those colleges too, and all the major colleges. There's got to be fraternities. Right, right. There, I mean, I think that there's a fraternity at the community college. And are they doing in, hazing and all that bullshit? Yeah, like, I want to know. Are they sticking broomstick up butts? And, and what, well, what I know people doing? have died from that, right? Yeah, like yeah. They, they've died, and chicks are doing weird stuff. It's that's a weird mentality, though, isn't it? Like you want to get in this frat so bad. And if they'd be like, to be in this frat, you got to walk on glass to get to that guy's butthole, and you have to put your face in his butthole, right? At that age, I'd be like, uh, fucking Was no. Was Van Wilder the the leader of that fraternity? I know. I'd, I'd be, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. But I'd be, I'd be like, uh, no, absolutely not. That sounds horrible. Yeah, it would. It would never. It wouldn't even be a question in my mind as a. But apparently, as a like kid. being in fraternities and sororities was a big mark on any of your business aspirations outside of school, right. and also That's your true. ranking in those sororities because it showed leadership skills. Mm, interesting. Because, I mean, you are truly you are a good leader if you can get a guy to walk over a bunch of glass and face plant in, a butt, in another dude's butthole. Well, I mean, they're, they're kids. You know, they're dumb kids that you're getting to do it, really. Because a college Cause, kid yeah, is... yeah, that's a, exactly what you a, wanted to do a, as a kid. You're like, sure, let me go do that. A college yeah. kid is 18, right? You're 18 when you go to college. Yeah, normally. Or 18, 19. Straight from, straight if from high school. If you're going straight yeah. out of high school. Yeah, you're 18 years old. You don't know anything. And then you got like a, a senior... Right, that you you want to be like he's a big buff football player senior, right? And you're like walk over. You're watching him in the shower. Walk on coals and sniff the. And it's a bunch of gay shit. It's always gay shit, right? And now you got to do all this stuff that you're gonna regret when you're older. You're like I had to eat this guy's ball hair, you know? Ew. Yeah. Like you may want to stick. I don't even know how you could do that. It'd be like Ian. I want you to eat this guy's ball hair. I'd be like, how about I just fucking rob you? What do you think of that? Like what? What do you mean, ball? Like, what? Yeah, like, you let me in, or, uh, or let me in, suck or I'm, my dick. Yeah, <laughs> it's so weird, man. I don't know. But I, I, it's manipulation, and I think, uh, I guess it's like anything. If you join the army or something, you're gonna get razzed as a young kid. Yeah, you get hazed in the army. You know, or jail, prison. I think jail, prison, bands. You you fuck with the new guy in a band. Yeah. Right? But you you're not doing all that weird shit though. Like, you're just playing fun little pranks and stuff. But you know. Have you ever played a, a crazy prank on somebody? Have I the craziest? What's the craziest prank I've ever pulled on someone? 
The craziest prank I've no, it's not really crazy. Like the me and my brother used to do April Fool's Day with each other. Like I put honey in his shampoo once. <laughs> That's pretty good. It took forever to get out of his hair. He was not happy with that. That's pretty good. Was he was um, he mad? Was he yeah? Mad? He was pretty pissed. Like it wasn't funny to him. It was funny after he was mad, and then he's right. like, "Okay, you got me." Right. Or I used to. I was the one that would. I had a lot of friends that would be very jumpy. Yeah. And. I would hide around corners in my in my house growing up. We had a weird layout, so there was a lot of corners and hallways and shit. And certain parts of the house would get a little dark and a little creepy. Yeah. And I was the one that would sit there around the corner and come out and scare the crap out of people all the time. Oh. I had one friend, Mandy, Miss Mandy Pants. She <laughs> <laughs> she went to she went to go. I think it was behind. She went to go get something out of my refrigerator, and I was around the corner. And we were watching a horror movie, and I came down with my hair like the like the ring girl, and it started. Oh yeah! And she straight ran out of the kitchen, jumped over the couch, and hid behind couch cushions. Like I scared the shit so out of her. So she really believed. I that scared you were, the shit out of her. She really believed you were uh, a zombie, like you got bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was pretty good at scaring the crap out of people. Wow. That was funny to me. Wow. I would we'd have big parties too, and we had these uh huge pepper trees that lined our driveway and was a big uphill driveway, and I spent my whole childhood growing up and climbing those trees. So when I would see my if I knew my friends were coming, I would wait in those trees and wait for them to hike up that hill and jump in front of them and scare the crap out of them, like jump out of the tree and scare them. So you, you like to scare people? Yeah, I like to. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was funny to me. People go ah. Yeah. Fuck and, you. And did they think it's funny? Yeah, after a minute. Uh, right. Oh, no. Actually, I think Mandy, she got mad at me after a while because she was an easy target. Yeah. <laughs> so I would constantly scare the crap out of her. And then my brother, um, I used to walk around. Like, you know how they had those old cheerleading cones? Yeah. I had one. And my brother would be sitting there quietly. Wait, cheerleading cone. What like is the, that? It's like a big, it's not a bullhorn, but it's a cone, Oh, right, right, right. right. It's what I, the, the gay I, guy I, always uh, talked out of, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. It was I always, guess so, yeah, the gay guy. It was always the gay guy in the school with the little shorts. <laughs> and he, you know, it's a big such, thing. He had such crazy school spirit for some reason. <laughs> He's the Will Smith. He's all, okay. Yeah, and go. Ah. Yeah, God bless him. But um, yeah. <laughs> I had one of those, and my brother would be sitting like quietly reading, and I'd sneak up on him at, to a point where his head was inside the cone. I'm like, what are you reading? Oh, my God. <laughs> To the point that he would get up and he'd be like, fuck you. And I'm like, that's what you have a sister for. You could but, hurt his ears. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to ruin each other's ears. That's why you have siblings. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Trust me, he got me plenty of times too. Like plenty of times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was one time uh, we went for a hike together and he had a, a he had a gallon of water just stashed on the hike, and which isn't. Isn't unheard of for us because we kind of grew up in the sticks, right? So we'd have bottles of water and shit stashed everywhere. Well, him knowing that we were going to go on this hike together, he took me up and he's like, hey, let's let's check out the view right here. It's pretty nice. I got a, I got a jug of water. Pulls out that jug of water. I take a sip. It's fucking bong water. One, gets me high oh, as fuck. That's fucked up. Two, I throw it up. It's like, Bleh! You can get high on, on bong water? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. You get resin in it. I mean, it's resin. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's gross. Though. So yeah, it was fucking gross. So my brother got me plenty of times. Really good. Mm. Yeah, siblings. Like your your siblings. Your siblings are both way younger than you, and then the other one is way older than you. Me and my brother were a year apart. So it's like we were friends. We also hated each other, but friends. Right. So you pick on each other. Well, yeah. My well, my younger brother, he uh, he he definitely fucked with me, and I didn't find any of it funny. <laughs> well. But Dan's a fucking comedic genius. He's a comedic genius. Do you want to know what he did? Yes. So I'm getting up to go to work, and um, he put uh, boxes in front of my door, like just to, in, right in front of my door, uh-huh. and then right out from my door over my whole lawn was forks, and then and then there's a note that says you've been forked. Right. And it's it's probably hundreds and hundreds of forks stuck in the ground. Right. And I'm already upset. I got to go to work in the morning. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I was so fucking mad. I was so mad. <laughs> You're like, what if I 
clean this? You know, I did that too. I did that too. I was so mad. And uh, I told him, I go, I called him up. I go, you motherfucker. Like, it wasn't a joke. I go, you motherfucker. You, when I get home from work, you better clean this up. There's going to be a problem. He was really mad. And then he and then he, <laughs> he, call, he, he called me laughing. I go, bro, I'm not playing. I'm not playing with you. You better clean that shit up. I'm too busy. And I get home. Wasn't cleaned up. I fucking. Oh, you got. He's like, no, no I'm just going to push this. See so, how mad I can get him. So check it out. <laughs> so check it out. Here's my payback. I dump gasoline all over his car. I'm about to light it on fire. And then I back out. Like, I literally was about to blow up his car. Baby, you got anger I got, issues. I was about to blow up his car, man. I was so mad. But I thought about my dad because it was out front of my... That's when he still lived with my dad. Uh-huh. And it was out front of my dad's house. And I go, oh, my dad's going to have to pay for this. So I, I bailed. But definitely... But instead, you just ruined his paint job on his car. Definitely. He had no clue. <laughs> so, but... um. But and it was like late at night, and I'm sitting there staring at his car, just like I'm gonna. Or, and they go, no, I'm gonna slash his tires. I go, fuck, dad's gonna have to pay for that. This one is too. why I have never pulled any pranks on you, though. I do. <laughs> I don't like. like to- I don't. I don't like pranks. Well, ask him about. You can ask him about. They still were fucking with me though. Then he had his friend call me. Okay. And his friend called me, threatening me, right? And I lost my shit. I lost it. Because I didn't know it was his friend at the time. I thought it was just some dude. Yeah, yeah. And at this time, too, I was I was in it with people. So I was fucking fighting with people. And I thought, it was, I, and then I go, I got your number. You know, like, I was like. I got the, your number the, now, homeboy. I, well, the number came up, right? So I go, I got your number now, motherfucker, right? And then so I, I called him back. I go, I got your number now. I go, I'll find you, bitch. I'm going to find you. And then my brother calls me and goes, goes, hey man, you know, it was my butt, it was my buddy. I'm sorry, it was, it was a prank. I go, no, nah. I go, it's too late now. I go, it's too late. When I see your buddy, f- done. I'm gonna fuck him up, right? And I was, I was so mad. But also at that time, it was just the worst time to fuck with me, just the worst time to- possible time to fuck with me. But your brother's just being a kid. I know, but <laughs> having fun. I know he was, but he has, he had no idea what was going on in my life at the time. Is a horrible time to fuck with me. <laughs> you know, it's just horrible. So I ended up playing a April Fool's joke on his friend. Okay. And I got him. Bad. Pray tell. Uh, basically, so it was, it, it, months went by, and then we ended up in uh, 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 April Fool's later on, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, his friend came over, and they were cool, and we were, uh, we were at the house, him, his friend, me, and my friend Tony. Okay. Anyway, so... Me and my friend Tony, we lock his friend in the room, and I and then I, I I and Tony locks the door. I go, you think it's fun to fuck with me, man? You know what I mean? So I rob him. So I go, I'll give me your shit, right? So I'm robbing him, and then and then I get on it. I go, get on your fucking knees, man. Get on, right, and I pull a knife on him, and he just loses it. Baby, this isn't a prank. He loses it. No, check it out. He loses it. He loses it, man. He loses it, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, tears whole nine yards anyways so um anyway but uh, by the way this guy's a great guy he's a he's a nice guy and he's he's, you know we're all older now but anyway so we we walk out of my room and and i go now get the fuck out of here and i follow him out and he's shaking right then i jump on his back and he goes ah and i go april fools motherfucker (laughs) and he's like you son of a bitch ah he was peeing his pants yeah holy fuck you son of a bitch (laughs) And then he starts hitting me. And then I'm like, ah. You guys don't know. His buddy Tony, too, is a big ass motherfucker. Like, you guys yeah. are an intimidating pair. And he was like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> right? And, and he, he felt so relieved. And um, I felt a little bad after it, too. But Yeah, uh, you just made him piss his pants. Well, but at the time, they don't know what they did to me at the time. And that was terrible. Yeah, yeah. That was terrible to do that to me at the time. But it was such a great prank. Now, that's the only, I've never pranked anybody. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. Well, you and I went into, there was a discussion. I don't know if you remember, but one of the first nights that we hung out, there was a discussion about pranks. Because I love pranks. I think they're fucking hilarious. You just got to make sure you're catching the person on the right on the right, ta- on the right day. Because I had the same situation with my car being covered in writing and shit right before going to work one day. And I, yeah. I got pissed off at my friends. The like, same way you got pissed off at your brother. But... So pranks are good-hearted ways to razz the people that you love and care about, right? But uh, you look, need I don't to, like it. You, don't do yeah, it. And, and, but you said first off, I'm all well. Your sense of humor, like we were talking about sense of humor, and you didn't think pranks. You thought pranks are funny if you're watching it on Jackass. 
but done to you, you're like, uh-uh, can't do it. I don't like doing can't it to do other it. people either. I don't like doing it to other people either. I love doing it. I still, every time I see my brother just sitting there doing nothing, I stick my I fucking, mean, my licked finger in his ear and give him a wet willy. Okay. No, no. See, that's okay, man. You know, that's still a prank? No, little, uh, little fun little pranks. Oh, good. I'm going to start giving you wet willies. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> just don't fuck with me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I know you don't. That's why I leave you alone. No, no. See, and that also ruins relationships if you ask me. I agree. If you ask me. It's like a guy who walks by and farts on his girl. Well, well, the farting also ruins it. But what I'm saying is, you know, you see these videos with like the boyfriend keeps fucking with his, his girlfriend, which is really funny and it's fun. Right. You see the one. Until she gets him back. And well, then he's like. Aah. Well, like there's the, you know, I saw the prank where he's got a. Uh, He's got a mannequin in bed with him or something. She walks yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Right, that one. But, you know, all that starts to, it, it builds up. I don't think it's good for relationships. I think it builds up. Maybe not. I, I don't think it's good. And especially like, you know, as a man, you know, to, to walk by and then your girlfriend gives you a wet willy. That's not funny. Especially if I'm busy and I'm in the middle of doing something. And you give me, I'm like, I don't need it. I don't, I don't need it. You know, like how about a kiss? How about a kiss? But then again, I've never done Here's that. Here's some orange to, juice. I, I don't think I've ever pranked. You don't need pranked, to fuck with me. I, I've never pranked any of my boyfriends because I think that's a line that you cross. Like that's a brother sister kind of relationship. That's a that's a that's a best friends. You really only prank your friend friends. You don't really prank your girl. You prank <clears> your girl. You're you're gearing for no blowjobs for the rest of your life. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Well, I mean, maybe drink your damn drink. Uh, I just Catch finished. Up with me. I just finished my coffee. Catch up with me. Why? Well, I mean, it was what I'm saying, bumming you out. No, oh. I just don't like to drink alone. And nobody on here has shown me that they have any cocktails. Why is it drinking alone? Why can you drink a non-alcoholic drink? Oh, but my homegirl, Militia, she's fucking drinking. I love her. You know what I mean? I love you, girl. Why is it that you have to... Can you go out and have a non-alcoholic drink? Yeah, but even still, if I'm going out and sitting at a bar and having a drink, I don't want to drink alone. That's true. You know, when... You do this to be social, and right now, we can't be social, so we're trying to invite people to to be social with us. Go to a bar with, like, a sober friend. I can do it now, especially if they're really, like, a real sober person. Yeah, yeah. But if they're not sober, like, that's not their thing. Like, they do drink, but they're not drinking as much as you, and you're getting smashed. You're spitting all over them and stuff. You know, you can tell they're getting I, irritated. I, don't know. I, got, I got my homegirls that I can go out with, and they don't. They like going out to bars because they like the social aspect of it. And I'll get tanked with them, and they drink mocktails, and they can still hang and party and have uh, have a good time. There's nothing worse than my friends getting smashed, and I'm completely sober, and I'm just like, ugh, I can't take it anymore. You, you, I, but well, usually it also, doesn't work that way because I'm usually smashed with them, but. <laughs> yeah, and also though, when you get smashed, though you're you're not a you're not an asshole when you're smashed. We no. all have our asshole friends when they drink, and they're like, uh, "I don't want to drink with you. I definitely don't want." Yeah, the be friends that want to get into a fight for like, some reason. Like I have my homegirls where I will definitely be the sober driver and have no problems hanging out all night. Yeah, and they're getting smashed, but they're fun. They're not assholes. They they work through the night and they go home and everything's fine. Then you have that one friend. You're like. Oh, fuck. There's always one. There's always one. Fuck. Every group has the one. Yeah. Right. I've had. A, I have more than one. I've had. I've had quite a few. But they. And, and what's weird is they all look the same. It does the same thing to these type of people. Whatever. I'd love to know what their blood type is. It's the nose that turns really like. The, it's the first thing that I notice. The nose always turns a little and, red. And I start noticing the hand. Oh the, yeah. The hand starts to do a palsy type thing. Like it starts to do this. Right. I start noticing that. And, mm-hmm. I, and it does it to all of them. It's really, really weird. And I, I but, think I'd love to test these people. We should put them all in a room oh God. <laughs> and that just get sounds, all of them. That s- sounds like all of the whatever is in the room will end up broken. Like you get two of your friends that can only have one drink. I get two of my friends that can only have one drink. We give them eight drinks. And you let, <laughs> and we put cameras on them. Experiment. You put cameras on them and you see how it goes. It, you know, it's like, right? It's horrible. Well, it's the same personality. They're the yeah, same yeah. people. And see who who drives the Sorry, other bro. crazy first. They're the, they're the same people. What what a reality show. Would that be fantastic reality show? No, it's called Rehab and nobody wants to watch Rehab. No, and then like and then like you 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 put a camera on them and then you you throw a political 
topic out there and run out the room. <laughs> you're but, all, yeah, you throw something out there, you know. <laughs> you're all and Trump, go, go, and then you watch them act like they know what the hell they're talking <laughs> about about anything, you know, and fight with each other. Oh Lord, yeah, like. <sighs> But that sounds like a lot of vomit to clean up, and I don't want to do that. Well, that's why no, you hire somebody else. Yeah. Hire somebody. <laughs> we're, the, we're the producers. We're not cleaning vomit. Oh, okay. I don't well, mind that. Well, yeah, you're the producer that goes, you, you send the, uh, uh, the intern in, right? You send the page in, mm-hmm. and you go, hey, man, go uh, bring up Trump to those people, and then come back in and see what happens. <laughs> right? And then he walks in and goes, Trump, and then runs out, right? <laughs> well, I think that Trump is doing a good job. And boom, like he hides behind some other guy while he says it. And she looks over. She's like, what? Here's, Did you just say that? Here's the reality show. Here's the reality show. Uh, changing minds. That's what it's called. So you put two people in there that have way different ideologies. Okay. okay. About everything. You give them a bottle of whiskey. They got to be drinkers. All right. Okay. Because it, it'll lower their inhibitions. And... If one changes their mind, if they're able to go, okay, I see what you're, I see your like point. Like that meme where the guy's sitting there with the table and it's basically a white paper and it says, I think so and so sucks. Change my mind. And that's not a meme. That's an actual guy that does a show. Yeah, but people have now taken him and made him a meme where they put oh. other stuff on front oh, of it. Oh, really? Like, like, I think, I, I saw one on one of my I love that show chats. because like, I'd love people to change my mind with right? things. Because I'm so open to getting my mind changed. I'm incredibly yeah, open. It, you know? Yeah, just throw me throw me some reason to actually change I, my I mind. I don't claim to know the whole universe, so change my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I think that'd be a great show. Not biting off of what that guy does, but where you put these people in a room and they get a prize if they can actually get... They don't know they get the prize. That's that's the catch. All right. And if you can get the other person to go, okay, I, I see your point, right? Without yeah. getting so heated. Yeah. If you well, can, that's not going to happen. That's the whole thing. Is well, the well that's why you put a bottle of whiskey in The there, whole right? show is, so is, here's, here's, is actually here's, watching them get all fucking heated and want to fight. And, and there's a time limit. So every five minutes it goes, ding, they got to take a shot of whiskey, right? Okay, so but it's like a half an hour show because we're gonna deal with <laughs> each person oh. gets six shots. Well, you edit it down, yeah. Depending on, oh, well, depending, and then it depends on the body types that we're putting up against each other. You can't have a girl. We can't have like a, a ninety pound girl going against a two hundred pound dude. What do you mean? No, they're not fighting. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the alcohol. Sure, you can. Why not? I know I have enormous fat friends that can have one drink and they're fucked up. I know. I've got friends I got, of all sizes. And I, that have and I know one little drink girls that can blue. drink all day long. Yeah. So it all it all depends. Uh, well, I, that, I guess that's left up to the producers and the casting agents. Which is us. <laughs> Which is us. Thank you very <laughs> much. Like, but the testing of the casting agent, me, would be like, so how much alcohol can you actually take? Let's sit at the bar, girl. <laughs> Let's talk. Well, no. I mean, I think it doesn't matter because when they get smashed, it's even funnier, right? Oh well, yeah, like, I love we're, that. We're definitely after comic relief. That is, of the course, fact, you know. <laughs> people are like, "You're not going to show that, are you?" Like, show what? Yeah. <laughs> no, people are saying you're not going to show that. I just said that, right? Hell yeah, you are. You got to sign yeah. those papers. Like uh, you were, you were an avid whatever supporter, and now you changed your mind. Yeah, no, but why is changing your mind wrong? Why is that not? I think that people are going to be more inclined to want to spare, but you're going to knock this table over. we got a big ass bulldog over here about to knock this table over. You can ladies see, and gentlemen. The, see her with that camera. She's yeah. been sitting next in the moment I stopped touching her. She starts. <laughs> She's leaning right into the table. <laughs> the, the sparrow of the, the butts. The sparrow strikes again. Yeah. No, I, I, actually, I like that. You know how many fucking TV ideas that we've thrown out that I think are golden? Yeah. Let's do it. And there's going to be there cuz now all these writers and all these directors and all these TV creators are out of a job right now. They're going to be scrolling through everybody's Facebook feeds and all their live feeds getting fucking ideas. Feel free to tell you. It. I've lost two TV shows. Oh yeah, you feel you've gotten ripped off? Oh yeah, Superstore was my idea. <laughs> Superstore was my fucking idea. You feel you've gotten ripped off? Yeah. Although I love that show, so thanks guys for making it. Man, I think I've been ripped off so many times. Not for right? shows, but other things, you know? That's what happens when you live out here in L.A., though, because people pick your fucking brains for... I, I, they listen in on your conversations. Can I, say, in can, I, can I say something that's kind of pompous? Sure. 
I feel. <laughs> like, you pompous? Oh, come on. I'm messing with you, baby. Jesus. You, you can't take I, a joke? You don't think I'm pompous, dude. Sometimes. That's, that's one thing I don't want to be. I don't want to be pompous. Sometimes you can be. Asshole, maybe. Pompous. Always an, pompous. You're, you're always an asshole, but I, I love I, your I, asshole, so it's okay. I don't mind that. That's just, you know, uh, you keep that to a minimum, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Pompous is, is rough. That's a rough one. You know? Yeah, well, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Pompous is usually when I'm when someone's like when someone's like, oh, I had to, I had to. It took so long to get here. All the tag and like, oh, it was hard, hard day, hard day for you. Right? Really that's day? pompous, right? Yeah. No, no, that's oh, not is pompous. It, uh, what is no, that? No, pompous is that you think that you're better than everybody else. Hmm. You go, oh, that sucks for you. Well, um, you oh, want to have a sip of my whatever? Oh no, but when like someone's like, I had a hard day, and then I go, well, my life's awesome. I'm just kind of, I'm being funny. I'm not being pompous. That's kind of pompous. Yeah, but it's funny. It's funny to you. It, where they're like, ah, man, I had, a, I had a hard day. And I go, well, actually, my life's pretty awesome. Like when they Nobody was asking you how your day was. That's uh, pompous. Well, look, you came over to my house, you know? <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, well, my day was, uh, that's being a pompous ass. I, if someone said that to me, I would think it's funny. If someone was like, if I was like complaining about my girl. No, you wouldn't. Well, it's usually like. None of your friends actually do that. If somebody actually acted to <laughs> you the way you act to other people, <laughs> you wouldn't think it's funny sometimes. I hit him in the face, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll stop doing that one. No, that's okay. It's just you. All your friends have learned to live with it. They're maybe, fun. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll watch that one then. I don't mind it. I've, right. I've learned to live with it. Well, I don't want to be pompous. That's one I don't want to be. Okay. The other ones I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> being an asshole. That's fine. I that's can fine. handle that. Because an asshole, you can, you can apologize. But being a pompous ass, you definitely can't come back from that. That's rough. Yeah. That's rough. You're not coming back from that. And usually what happens, I think, if you if you if someone is super pompous, right? Uh-huh. I think they're they're being that way because they're afraid of being that person. Yeah, probably. Right? They, they, yeah, it's an insecurity issue for sure. Right. So I think when I've been pompous and someone is is complaining about how their wife, uh, which is what I become pompous about a lot, where their wife bosses them around a little bit, like you can't go there, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, no, no, you definitely can't go into somebody else's relationship and fuck with them. But but I'll I'll always go like they'll say that I go well my life my life was pretty awesome. You Nobody's know, asking you, like, you how your life is. That's what's pompous. But about you brought it. that in though. See, this is th this is what. This is kind of why I do it sometimes because it comes into my, they bring that into my production or whatever we're doing, right? Like I'm in the middle of shooting a video or, or shooting something and they mm -hmm. come in there with their problems and I try to cut them off with being like, well, my my life's out of No, no. Anyways, let's keep rolling. Right? Yeah, a better way to do with that is to be like, I'm sorry that's happening to you, but this is a workspace. Let's keep rolling. And reminding people that you don't mm. bring your fucking personal issues into a workspace. Ladies. And men that act like ladies. And dudes that act like just shitty ladies. dudes. It, that is, okay, ladies, everyone watching. Everybody just acting like Hold asses. on, hold on. Everybody watching, can we admit that that's more of a woman thing? When, when you go, you're doing a production, and the woman always has to say something that was terrible before she got in the door. Every time. No, that happens with a lot of people, baby. Let me tell you. Okay. I think I think it's just the amount of bartenders you hang out with, or or <laughs> because I'm sorry for all my bartender friends. I just was an ass and or threw because, under the bus. Or because bartenders, actors, and things like that. Right, it's bartenders. People, it's people. No, who, you're right, bartenders. It's, it's people who have to deal with other asses that they don't want to deal with on a daily basis, man. Okay, but women always say they're tired. They are tired. Can, can, we are tired. Can we say that? Yeah, Can we say no, that? that's definitely true. That is definitely a woman thing. You know, but there's many reasons why. No, I... I we don't need to go down that No, road. I know. Uh, I, look, I understand. <laughs> I understand. But one thing, someone who's shooting a production and paying you... No, you don't need to hear that. You, you exactly, don't want to hear That's it. the whole thing. You don't bring your fucking personal shit into your workspace. Right. Once you step into the door, like, I go to work every day. If I'm having a fucking shitty fucking day... I still have to go in there and put a smile on and get my day rolling. Right. You do not right. walk in there and what? make somebody else's day a shit show because you're in a shit show mood yourself. Yeah, never, ever, everyone watching and listening, never tell somebody who's paying you that you're tired. No. Never. They don't want to hear it because the person paying you probably worked harder than you to get Listen, to that Listen, I have had that talk with my boss years ago, years and years ago, just like he's all, I, I know that you, you work 
at night too, along with your day job. Yeah. But you have things here that you handle that are precious to us, so we need you to be on the ball. Right. And we need to not be worried about you being with our 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 kids because I right. take care of kids, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, and we need oh, you to absolutely. not be worried about. We need yeah. to not be worried. Which I've always been on the ball, no matter what. I've got fucking motherly maternal shit coming out every orifice of my. Well, life. I mean, especially anybody. <laughs> Especially anybody who's running a business, right? Yeah, that's their baby. That's how they. Yeah. that's how they feed their kids. Exactly. And they don't want somebody coming in and fucking up their business because they hired them because that person decided to go out and and have a three way and shit. They're like, dude, my three way. They're like, I don't care. I got to feed my kids. So let's. Get- <laughs> I've never been like ah oh, my free, my three way. <laughs> well, I used to work. I used to work with my dad. So you know, I used to work with my dad. You like, go in there and you just fuck with your dad. I'm sorry, dad. I had a three way last I do night. gotta I, I used to work for my dad ah. and I'd come in just just still probably drunk from the night before but my dad would be like look I don't care about you I don't care that you're hungover get to work see I, I it's a census with everybody here too you don't bring your fucking shit to work like you just you don't you don't do it uh, okay so everyone know we run a little bar here right it's almost a hundred percent that the bartender that's working here whoever it is will whoever always ever to will always say yeah whoever we've had many bartenders in here they're always tired the moment they walk in like can we just stop doing that and stop like putting our own shit on other people as soon as they walk in the door i have hired a bartender one time that i never met her i needed a bartender like now Uh right so she was suggested i needed her now she was late for one and then not only was she late she laid so much shit on me about her fucked up family life and I'm going, uh oh, okay, I got to get through this. So I'm doing, yeah, you know, who what I mean? does that? Just, just everything. But then again, you got to think about a bartender's life. People come in and just lay their shit on them, too. Right. They just like, oh, you're somebody I can talk to. I'm going to pay you. So let me just lay all my fucking family history on you because now you are my fucking and it's psych so, doctor. It's too. weird. I just met you. I literally, like, you walk through the door five minutes right now. I just met you. Mm-hmm. And I, there was one bartender, right? I said, I said, I don't care. In the middle of it, I just cut her off. I go, I don't care. We got, we got to roll. Like, yeah, we're, you got we're, work to do. We're late. I'm, you know me. I'm running back and forth. We got to go. Let's go. And people should be not so fucking like touchy about that too. By the way, she was so mad at me after that. That's so stupid. Hated me. Posted I'm shitty sorry, things about me on Facebook. You're, it was you're just, coming into a work yeah. environment. You don't just lay your personal shit on laid, somebody you don't know. Rude to people. Laid it all. I was like, Jesus Christ. Man. I, like, I, I do my best to keep all my personal shit away from work. And when it does happen yeah. on a few occasions, I've never had that sit down except for that one time when I came in and yeah. my boss was actually, she knew I had a gig the night before. Yeah. And I was really fucking tired. Yeah. And she saw it in me, and she asked me how I was doing. And I told her I'm tired. She asked yeah. me how I'm doing. So are you doing okay? I'm like, listen, man, I'm tired. I was I was at this gig until three in the morning. Yeah, but it's not something that has ever hindered my work skills. Right now, but if you're gonna come in and straight lay your shit, like I'm tired. My boyfriend did this. Uh, I got all this shit. The like boy the, don't, for all that shit. Your bosses are not your fucking. They're not your therapist. Right, right. It's 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 odd, and it's happened. More times that I can count, not just with bartenders, but anybody I've hired, and I don't mind that. Once, once we become friendly and we're ro- rocking and rolling together, yeah, yeah. Then, then we, then it's like, dude, my girlfriend, oh god, and then we, can, and then I can talk. Yeah, to then you, you can razzle with them. But if you've been here for three days, I don't care. I don't care if you got like, hit by. I don't know you. If you got hit by a car, I wouldn't care. That's how much I don't know you. You know, yeah, ex- I hired you because exactly. of you, because you, you have the skill I need at the moment. I don't care if you, you came with good references, but apparently, yeah. And how do I put that? Like, if you got hit by a car, I don't care. You know, that's how much I don't care because we gotta get to work. Now, right. What you do is you say, "Oh, well, I was just asking in rhetorics. If you're tired, go ahead and go home and go to sleep. I got this." Well, no. Here's what, as soon as that happens, they're gonna perk up like, no, 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 I'm okay, I got this. Here's some you advice, know? And guys. Gonna learn. I'm gonna give you guys advice as a business owner and as a man. You immediately tell her she looks <laughs> nice. You go and hey, she goes, she goes, oh, I'm tired. I go, well, you look nice. Boom. Well, how, how's that gonna work when you hire a dude? You're out of it. Same thing. Same shit. 
It's been, wor- been working out. You look great, man. Let's get rolling, baby. All Boom. Right. Once anyone, a human being, hey. once they're told they look nice, it automatically, all, most of it goes away. It's nice to walk into a place and have a compliment. But when you walk into a place, you got a compliment. People are like, oh, I feel good about myself being here now. here we go. But yeah, that shouldn't happen. It shouldn't need to happen. Here we go. You got to say it in a way. Because if you tell a girl she looks nice, it doesn't always, it comes off creepy, right? You can't do it. So you got to do it. It doesn't come off creepy from you. No. You know why? Because you're good looking. Mm, that sucks. It does. In the world. But, okay, but I'm going to say, you do it almost like, well, you look nice. Not like, well, no, not like that. well you look nice. No, no, no. Look, that, that seems like you're making fun of people. No, no, it works. Well, you look nice. Well, maybe I didn't do yeah, it. Look, look, I didn't no, go. No. I, I wanted, I, my point is, I'm trying to do it like a party. You look good. You, you rolled in looking good. No, we're that, ready to go. that seems very like aggressively making fun <laughs> of me. Oh. Like we're gonna okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do gender roles here. Even okay, here, I am a girl. You're, I'm gonna, you're I'll try to change right. it too, though. Okay, okay here we okay. go. All right, go go ahead. You walked in. I go, Jenna, thanks for coming. Oh, well, I'm happy. How, how you to doing? Be here. Um, well, you know, I'm a little tired. Well, but... you look good though. Really? Yeah, you're looking good. Let's let's roll. Okay, cool. Thanks. Boom. Yeah, that that's perfect. Okay, here we'll try it. Like I just said it. Here we go. All right. Hey Jenna, how you doing? I got here. I'm a little tired. I had some trouble on the freeway. Well, you look nice, though. No that's good. Not how, the, the one, that's not how you do it. You said, well, you look good. <laughs> You're like, with jazz hands. You look good. <laughs> well, let's da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> do a little tap. She's like, what the fuck? She's like, oh, you're a fucking creep. I got the fuck out of yeah. here. But my try, po- try it again. Yeah. Try it again. Okay. No, we'll retake it. Uh. Okay, you walk in. Hey, Jenna, how you doing? Thanks for coming. Uh, uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm a little tired, but, you know, I'll get through it. Well, you don't look tired. You look good. Let's get rolling. Perfect. Boom. See, that's good. You don't yeah. look tired. You look good. Yeah. Yeah, that's I nice. think, but... That's not creepy. Yeah, you can't... It's hard nowadays. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> you look good. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We're children. <laughs> but, but you... The reason why I did it like that is you don't want to make it so like, well, you look good and you look them up and down. Yeah, you can't. You got to look at them in the eye when you say it. All right. Sorry. I'm, I'm okay, Josh. I'm going back into it. I'm sorry. So Josh, Josh says, y'all ain't even reading the feed. We're drinking whiskey. What are you drinking? We're drinking whiskey, too. We got some Crown Royal going on. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, guys. we're busy talking bullshit. Man. Yeah, we're just being assholes. Cheers, are we, you guys. Are Oi! we entertaining you guys? I hope Oi! we are. Down the Here, hatch. hold on. I'll take a shot out of this because I got mixed drinks. And no one's typing. Show me your cans. Yeah, yeah. Because what they want to see yours. Like I got no cans. Show me your cans. Show me your cans. See, that's something you can't say anymore either. Look oh. at you right out of the bottle. Look at you right out of the bottle. I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> and that's what happens when he drinks whiskey. The only thing that would turn me on more if you're shooting a shotgun while drinking that motherfucker. I'm about to do that. I got no shit to like. Literally, we have shit to do. I still got plenty to do. I don't know what y'all talking about. Well, yeah, yeah that's what I got to do. Try to make a living. Still got to try to earn money. Yeah, as you're out there fucking shooting the bow and arrow right before this, you're like, I'm gonna go shoot bow and arrow. Well, I also gotta, I gotta keep up with my skills. You know? Well, yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, now I have time to actually do stuff that I want to do. Yeah, you wrote a great song, man. That was fun to play to. I liked it. Yeah, fun. yeah. Last night we actually got a good little jam session on a new tune. It was nice. Yeah, it was like, good. I, I felt like... I love sitting there on the chair playing bass like a jazz musician. Man. Yeah, you it. look so sexy doing it. Oh, too. yeah? yeah. My fingers bass all up here. Yeah, boo 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 Yeah, it's fun. Well, look, ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, I got in this game to play that bass guitar. Straight up. Wait. Josh says, what kind of... We're not drinking beer. We're drinking whiskey, silly. Whiskey, man. Whiskey, Josh. Whiskey, butthole. <laughs> I, think that, I, whiskey. Think that, I think that Josh is just as tanked as we are. Man, everyone's sending pictures and their stories of their alcohol collection Dude, now. Dude, okay, so <laughs> I, 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 I've been working on a song called Quarantine. It's about how it turn, it's turned all of us... Not the funny one you were singing? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a funny one. Oh, here, sing it for people. Sing that little... No, sing I'm that not... Lick. Gonna... Not no, yet. Look, the quarantine, quarantine. Okay. Quarantine, quarantine. It's turned us all into drinking machines because <laughs> nothing's left to do besides drink and get tattooed. Well, my boyfriend's a tattoo artist. He's been tattooing me all that, week. So. That's a great one. That's a great one. 
And then the crowd's going nuts, man. Like, yeah. The online Quar- crowd. The online crowd. Yeah. Quarantine, quarantine. They're all singing along. <laughs> if you got a drink, come and pour it for me. Oh, yeah. I'm not in the room, but I'm going to drink it, too. See, nice. I'm that's, awesome. That's pretty good. And then and then what they're going to have to do, what they're going to have to do is <laughs> have. The, the group fucking. Everyone's going to have avatars, and they can push buttons to get the all the avatars. It's called Second Life, baby. He doesn't understand. Like, there's a whole online community that's actually, they're like, we've been socializing. We've been social distancing for the last 10 years. My avatar is going to have a gigantic schlong. Huge. Your, Huge. your schlong's already too big. Huge. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's a, you're a good girlfriend <laughs> for saying that. Well, a, just, just a ridiculous schlong. avatar. I'm going to be sh- Schlong guitar. <laughs> so <laughs> you're gonna be like regular dude, but with the actual avatar, avatar schlong. I'm gonna have blue schlong hanging down to the feet. I'm gonna have a head of an elephant with a big schlong. I'm definitely not fucking you in Second Life. It's a good looking elephant. That sounds though. horrible. It's a hot looking elephant. Yeah, no. Oh, I'll take that from you in an Avatar life. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take you with my <laughs> elephant head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the elephant. <laughs> See who doesn't like an elephant? I do love elephants, but I don't. I don't. Then, then I think about you like the, you're like the god Ganesh. You have to have all the other arms too. In order. I have all the arms. Imagine what I can do to you to eight arms, six arms. But I like your face. Nah, fuck my face. Who cares about a man's I, face? I, I like your face. Stupid face. I don't. I want to. <laughs> okay, you've got a stupid face. I have a. I have a stupid face. <laughs> I, if I'm going, to, if we're all going to Avatar, I'm going. No, I'm going to build like what I used to do when I play, you know, when you build your baseball character in video games. What? I'm oh, sorry. They're all talking with each other on the feed. I'm not even watching it. So they're making. Check the feed. Put right, the computer right. right here so you can see everybody. Well, I, I am. It's, yeah. it's right here. You I have to pay attention to that feed. I'm trying to. Look, it, it's a whole different situation. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not. You the don't tech have to person. listen to me. I'll talk as you look at that because you yeah. But then I don't respond to your to your jokes, and you're like, oh, I'm talking to the room. No, I wasn't. I was just. I, I don't. I don't care if you respond to my jokes. I could sit here and do this by myself all day. I don't give a fuck. You know, you could look at the like like now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to chime in every no, no, now no. and then. I'm guys. serious. Pay attention to that. That's uh, fine. I am paying every every like five or ten minutes. I come back to it. What we need is somebody to read those, right? Yeah, to read it back to us. Yeah, but they're gonna have to stand in the other room because we have to socially distance ourselves from everyone. <laughs> <sighs> what, what does it end? Can I not have Tony over? You know, Tony's here every every like three or four days. His germs are all. I don't know. That doesn't. I, I don't. I don't even know anymore. You know, can I have my brother over? Like, it's funny where we go social distancing, but not for our family. I don't, I don't know. Right? I don't know. I'm hearing people talk about it like social distancing, but they have they have like nine people in their family. And they're all hanging out in the house. Yeah, and everybody, like the kids are going to go out down the street to go ride their bikes and stuff, even though they're trying to be safe. What you got to do is shoot up your kids. Know. You got to shoot up your kids with the heroin. And, <laughs> and, and leave them incapacitated on the couch. Yeah, you sedate everyone. Let's just all shoot up pills and heroin and just sit there and watch Family Guy all day. That sounds awesome, sounds, actually. Sounds fantastic. That sounds pretty cool. Oh my god, I'm in. Hey, God, can I say? Can I say that online? If you guys can send me pills, is that a thing? <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, right? Nobody's gonna come over, anyways. No, you send that shit in the mail. Well, you can't send that shit in the mail. Why not? They do. You know what? I they do. Okay, I want to know: Has anybody else's mail stopped? Because my mail in my P.O. box, I haven't gotten mail in oh, 10 days. Oh, my bills days. are still coming. Believe me. I haven't gotten mail in 10 fucking days. I have checks in the mail that are supposed to be sent to me. I haven't gotten my fucking mail. And it's a P.O. box. I just and a it's a USPS P.O. box. I haven't gotten my shit in the mail in fucking 10 days. And Am- 10 days. And by the way, Amazon's delivering on time. So... I, I, I'm in. The, I, I got a phone call from it the says post. It, it says it's going to deliver late, but it I, delivers on time. I actually got a phone call from the post office today concerning my situation I've had with them. Oh. I like how you take the earphone out like you're going to hear them. No, there's something going on. Oh, the, the internet went out? I don't know. Did it? Maybe. 
You know, okay. this this thing is is a constant issue. Constant. Do you hear that? No, I don't. I don't hear go, anything. Go take your earbud out. Hold on. Hey guys, is hold everything? On. Hold still- on, hold on. I still don't hear it. It's it's your computer, baby. It's the fan in your computer. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's how good my hearing is as a musician after all these years. Uh-huh. No, it's it's your computer working. Oh. It has a fan? Yeah, so it, it's it's cooling. It's trying to cool itself off. Oh, that that's how much time I spend on the computer. I'm like, "What's this?" Yeah, let me see. Is it hot? I don't know how it's working. Uh, I mean, you got a brand new computer. They don't oh, really get oh, hot you anymore. You just fucked my shit up. Oh, did I just hit something? You did. Uh, and I don't know how to, I don't All know how I to turn do it off. Is have some fun. But before I die, there's a man next to me from out of nowhere. What a good song. That's a great song for now. Uh, all I want to do yeah, is but have some fun. I, I, all I have is the, the instrumental beds from all my, my radio stuff I do. Oh, that's where that came yeah. from? You weren't actually bumping Cheryl Crow? No, I do love Cheryl Crow, though. Cheryl Crow's still a piece. There we go. She? she is a piece, man. She's still killing. I want to drink from her Kool-Aid well. She, she's, a, she's a dime piece. She, oh, she's a it. 50-year-old dime piece. <laughs> she's a slam piece. She's a fifty-year-old slam piece, man. <laughs> I'd slam that too, though. Yeah, I would totally slam that. Now, if you read something funny, you can't just laugh at it. You have to, you have to uh, no, tell I, me what I, you're. I loving. was responding to you. Oh. Oh, all right. Let me come back in. Hold on, guys. I'm coming back. Yeah, and all right. So, so Megan's getting down on the vino. In Tom, vino veritas. Yeah. Uh, Tom says, Sparrow says, pet me. I'm petting her. She's being pet, man. Watch, watch when I don't pet her. Watch, let's see. Uh, my mom is talking to all of our Australian friends. Hi, Mandy Pan- or Mandy Pants. Other Mandy. Hi, Mandy. I miss you. My homegirl, man. Watch. She's the one that took me to go go hug koalas when I was back there in Australia. Uh, listen to Sparrow wine. Oh. She's on... <laughs> So I stopped petting. We've been doing this for, uh, yeah, an hour already. I've been petting you for an hour straight. All right, Tina's in on. Everybody's drinking with us. Oh, they actually joined us for fucking cocktail hour. Look, guys, let's get hammered, Thank man. Thank you, guys. Cheers. You know what? It's a virtual bar, basically. You know what, right? guys? I'm sorry. I've been drinking. Let's look. I'm down on yeah, this. If... Let's pour this up. Let's get let's get smashed tonight, man. It's Friday. I've had enough. It is Friday. It's, it's been a shitty week for all Look, the shit. Let's smash this. I'm going to chop up some Percocet. Let's get nuts, man. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Serious. Let's ch- Somebody deliver me Percocet ASAP. It makes him so much nicer. Oh, man. If I'm on Percocet right now, I'm going to be talking to all you guys and tell you how, how he's gonna special come, you he's are. He's going to come back into the feed and go like, Oh, that's really nice of you. Oh, what whiskey were you drinking? Uh, oh, I'd really like to be I'm gonna friends. Tell, I'm going to tell you how special you are, you know, <laughs> that you're going to do fine in the world. I always do that when I'm super you're, high on You're going to be awesome. When I'm really jacked on pills, I like to tell people that they're awesome and that they're going to do fine in life. <laughs> I like to say that. I like the. I yeah. don't mind the positive. Ears. Like, I'll say that to a stranger. Hey, 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 you. Come here. You're going to be okay. You know something, buddy? You're a handsome guy. And I... And I think I, I could tell by your bone structure, you're going to be good in life. You're going to do just fine. Now, off with you, you little scamp. <laughs> yeah. hey, for me, I get, the, I get the guys going, hey, 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 come here, let me see your teeth. What, is he Italian? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is yeah. It, is it, uh, stop. Hey, it's me. I mean, uh, let me touch you. I don't want you, you want grabbing. Touch my, your face? I don't mind you touching my face, but don't grab like that. No, they do it. I would fucking stab somebody you know if they how many did that. Guys if a stranger fucking, did that you know to me. Guys have, you know how many guys I've punched in the face for that guys shit? Guys are so dumb, dude. I'm like, wait, wait. I'm walking by, like, let me like, let me see your teeth. I'm like, what the fuck? That's a weird gene. Yeah, welcome to being a girl. That's a weird gene, though, as a man. <laughs> you think I'm laughing every, or I'm, I'm, I'm lying every time that I'm like, we get accosted. No, no, no I, I don't think you're lying. I, I know that's a fact. But I'm just saying, it's a weird gene. It, it's got a certain type of man does that. I don't understand. I, I don't think I've ever done that in my life. I, I'm sure I've said something shitty to chicks. But what I'm saying is, I don't think I've ever actually just yelled at a girl and been like, hey, oh, yo, 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 hey, hey, hey. hey. I don't think I've ever done I've that. I've been 
in the car. I don't car. think I've ever done I've that been in my life. In the car while my uncle was whistling at a girl walking down the street. I'm like, and this is me as a little girl. I do that at the TV. Though. This is me as a little little girl sitting there in the car, and I'm like, I love my uncle. He's so awesome. He's all. I can't even whistle right now. Oh. Oh, that one. As she's walking down the street. I'm oh, like, but that, that's old school, man. Why well, don't people do that anymore? Or, you know, they don't the, do you that know anymore. what's the worst? Is a... Oh, you, well, that's Hispanic. Oh, fuck. Hispanics. I'm that. Hispanic. Uh, so? What does that have to do with what I just said? I was just saying, like, the, Hispanics that shit, do that. It's they true. do that. That is a fact. And that's okay. I'm not, uh, not saying it's a... a but a, this is a, my a, Hispanic uncle that would... Yeah, his or at least he was a little more respectful. Is that more respectful? No, I've seen Hispanics do that where they where they do that, and yeah, Hispanics do that. Black guys and white guys will be like, "Hey, hey, no, no, I got yo, 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 you, yo, let thick. me get, yo, let me get your digits, yo, let me get your digits." Yeah. I've gotten white dudes go. I've gotten white dudes going. Like just they they just brush themselves across White. you. Okay, there you that, go. That's creepy. So let's, they just brush themselves. So let's like the, go along. They'll, they'll the, do the dick brush. Let's go along the line. Okay, here we go. Well, let's okay. start. We'll start. Hispanics go. Hey, hey, hey. 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 No, no, it's a. Or like, the whistle. Like you're a fucking. Or they'll like, go. Yeah. Or the wh- the, the, Yep. Yep. Yeah, the whistle. And I'm a good whistler. Yeah. You that's are a good whistler. <laughs> so they'll start doing that, right? So that's that's the Hispanic. That's one that's gross. Yeah, In yeah. fact, they're all. Let's just say that with yeah, all. No, they're all, all gross. Of them are gross. Here we go. Let's go down the line. Uh, all, all these ways the cat call and then women. I, is and then I'm going to end with one that we don't know what they do. Here we okay. go. You ready? Because we're doing basically what's here in Los Angeles. We're just going to do what's here in Los Angeles. Okay. We're not going to go all over the world. Just see what's here. You in know, Los I've Angeles. never been accosted by. Hold on, I'm getting. Oh, there. Okay, okay. I'm getting there. We're get, we're going down. We're just going down the line. Uh, Hispanics do that one. Uh-huh. Black guys are like, "Hey, girl, let me get your digits." No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. you're thick. Oh, okay. Or hey, per- then you tell it to a really skinny black or a really skinny white girl, and she's like, "What?" And then she's got to go purge. Yeah, I know. Well, no, well, I'm from Long Beach. They're, they're like, "Let me get, let me get. What's up, damn girl? What's up with you? What's up? What's up?" That's what yeah, they, I get that. Walk, what's up with girl, you? What's up with you? What's up? What's up? Mm. And oh, you're just gonna walk away, right? Like, yeah, of course. They yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, you. I, I don't want to talk to okay, you. Okay, okay. Here we go. And then you, then you go. Then white guys. White guys no, do no. the brush by. Yeah, they do this. We call it the gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> they, excuse me, girl. Or they put the hand on the back and they got. Uh, and they move it down. They're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, yeah, doll. Yeah, right. no, that's S- up. Excuse me, honey. That's fucked up. You should just die. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. They're like, they're like, yeah. So guy, the white guy will actually touch you. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's the creepiest though. Really, the white yes. guys are the tr- creepiest. Fuck, yeah, because you're, you're rubbing your dick on us. I know. Well, don't say is... you. Don't say you. <laughs> you're white. Just because I'm white, <laughs> okay. don't say okay. you. Okay, okay, okay. you're Jesus you're Christ. male. Because the guys are rubbing their dicks on you. Okay, man. let's keep it going. We're not we're, cool. Let's, let's keep going down the line. Okay. Okay, let's keep going down. All what right. do Armenians do? They get, or they just hit you with cologne, like 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 uh, <laughs> like Pepe Le, Le Pew or something. No, God, I've gotten. I've gotten what do hey, they do? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. oh, hey. <laughs> I was sort of looking down your shirt. They're not even looking at your face. By the way, Italian, same thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Okay. No, no, but that's Italians are the ones that are like. Uh, they count let as me white, see your though. teeth. Yeah, they, I think. Let they, me see your teeth. They're in the white category, though. No, not when you're pulling a girl's head when she's walking by. Let me see your teeth. What the fuck, I don't know, man? Why? Oh my why? god. Why? Okay. All right. Why? Move, all right. Here we go. Check it out. Gross, guys. What do Asians do? I haven't gotten accosted by an Asian. Man. An Asian will never say right. I, I have been told that I am very sexy, and thank you so much for letting me talk to you. That is so racist what I just did, but whatever. But Why is that I'm, racist? Why is that racist? Because that's what I just because did. Because that's exactly what happened. Well, that's what I've gotten. Yeah, don't say it's racist after it. Own that shit. Well, whatever. It's not whatever. racist. If it's, it's, that, not, it's not racist. It's only racist if you say it's racist. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You're making me think too much about it. I don't it. want you to say that anymore. Make the joke. That's, that's what it. I've gotten. Okay. No, uh, that, right, that, it, but that's exactly actually, what happened, right? Yeah, that's, that's, but, it's a but that, guy. Yeah, but that is polite. Is that polite? Is that fine to say? Can a man say that? To I, I don't you? mind. I don't mind somebody telling me that I'm sexy. Right. And also saying thank you for letting me talk to you. Can I say Which that? Is, it's, very, it's and then he leaves. And then he leaves. No, no he didn't leave. And then he got oh. a little creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's. Sweet. Oh, then he kept hanging. Oh, here we go. 
they oh they, the hanger they, on they just hang they just hang. they just hover around right around here they're just hanging nope not yet not yet and they're waiting for you nope, to finish nope, talking nope, to somebody not yet, else not, 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 nope nope not yet and then they just, <laughs> right? they, and then they just commandeer the conversation oh with something that ain't funny or something that isn't welcome uh, to being a girl well welcome to being the guy with the girl <laughs> right. <laughs> and this is why you don't go to many of my shows. But no, that's I mean uh You're pretty good. Uh, that's at that. one of the that's I guess that's one yeah, of no, the Yeah, no, no, you straight No, I don't mind. Like, you but come I don't want to ruin You come to the shows, you come to the shows and then like you show your support and you go, "Baby, I love you. I'm going to head out. I don't want you to ruin I don't want you to miss any sales. I don't want I don't oh, want I will to creep ruin anybody out." Everything. He does. He he fucking ruins all that I, shit. I will but ruin, that's fine. I will ruin all sales. I will ruin all deals coming your way. Since the very beginning of our relationship, you've always been really respectful of that even though you know that I'm having a deal like you know I'm having a deal with with asshole faces, you know I'm good. Well, that's I mean that's that's part of it. Yeah, yeah. It's no, one of those it's things. It's part of the fucking deal. It's one of those things, like, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. If if a girl is hitting on me, or or she, you could tell she's doing whatever she's doing after yeah, yeah. the show. Uh, you allow it. Yeah, whatever. you allow it because you know I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, good. Let's let's get a number in. No, no. It's because someone liked your band, and they like. Yeah. Usually, if they like your band, they, of course they want to fuck you, right? Oh, they won't, baby. Make the make that fucking make, merch sale. Make, make that money. Make that money, baby. Make, make that, that money. money. So you have to trust the other person. You can't if you want to fight off everybody who likes your girls or guys band. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be busy, right? You're gonna be busy, but I mean, also, no one wants. We no one if they want to hire you, say for a shoot, like say you're a model, yeah, they want to yeah. hire you for a shoot, and I'm the boyfriend. They're like, oh, <laughs> you're ruining all business. They're like, fuck, like um, nah, unless, fuck, I deal with that guy. unless the guy, here's what I've had before, where the guy really wants to be my friend, right? Oh, so they're hiring so, her because they want to hang out with you? Because they want to hang with me. I've had that. <laughs> I've had that. Well, but the, also they throw like, they'll hire me. They'll, they'll hire me for stuff, but they never hire me. They just want to hang out they, with they me. Call you to, they call you to go hang out. Just go hang out. And then I go, when are we going to start talking about the work? work? And then I just hang. That has happened so many times in my life where a guy, I thought a guy was going to hire me, <laughs> but he really just wanted to hang out with me. I just really like you. Yeah, and I go. I don't want a friend. I want a job. <laughs> I, got plenty, I got plenty of friends. I have plenty, plenty of friends. Of I need. A, I need a job, man. That's funny. I know. Yeah, th there's been many of those where I'm just going, what What's going on here? And I'm like, and then it started to go. Is this guy gay? Does he want to fuck? And then, and then I go, No, I don't think so. No, not everybody wants to fuck you, baby. But a lot of people don't have. Friends. No, I never. I never. Or a think lot that. of people don't have like like legitimate people that they want to be friends with. No, I've told you a story. The guy that I'm driving around is Bentley. He's like, want to drive my Bentley? Fuck yeah, I do. Let's mm -hmm. do it. And then I started going, like, because he was gonna hire me to to do sound. This is fresh out of my injury. I've yeah, told yeah. you this before. And yeah, I know. And, and he owned clubs and, and here in Hollywood. And I, I, you know, I sat at a dinner table with Mary J. Blige, you know, with him. And he's introducing me to people. He's like, I'm, he's introducing me to people. I'm like, this is great, man. This is yeah. awesome. I'm sitting there eating dinner with these people, you know. And uh, and then uh, I go, when are we going to talk about the job? And it just never came. I'd try to bring it up, and he, he, he'd like blow it off. But he kept offering to to hang out with me. And and well, then one one night I I was like uh, I was like, hey man, I gotta go run home. He go, I take my car. Gives me his Bentley, you know. <laughs> just like, nice. What the fuck? I'm driving around. But, you, but you know what? The good thing about that driving though, around is drunk in a Bentley. He's he's giving you opportunities to meet other people to yeah. make those connections. Yeah, you know. He yeah, he was a great guy. He's a good friend to have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even he he just wants to hang out with you. He I mean he may not want to hire you for anything he's got going on. He at the was moment. he was the boyfriend of my girlfriend's girlfriend. My girlfriend's my friend. My girlfriend's girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend's friend. That was the boyfriend. And we met like that. And we kind of bonded through, you know, being like, what's up, man? Oh, you know, the same way you met Rob. Kind of like how I met yeah. Rob. Yeah. And uh, I think he was just excited. I was, he was also a Jew, by the way, from Israel. So maybe that had something to do with it. I love the I love those Israeli Jews. He was an I Israeli Jew, and I think he was probably excited that I was a Jew. <laughs> He's like, yeah, and he didn't know you were Jewish. <laughs> Was I, that, I think was I that before you knew. I think oh. at one point I, I I was like, you know, my name is Jewish. I told him my name. I have a Jewish last name. You know, he's like, oh, what's your last name? I said Levitt. And he goes, oh shit. You know, he didn't know. I, I was like, no, that's a that's a stage name I have. You know, he didn't know that. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So okay. yeah. 
I'm, I'm going to go back through all of our stuff here. Uh, yeah, we can rant. Sorry, guys. Yeah, uh, we rant. that's the one thing. We've been in a relationship for a long time, but we still like talking to each other. Pretty good at that. Yeah. <laughs> We're good at talking. We like we like ranting. We rant. Hey, Danny. You know, we have a lot of our Aussies in on here. I love my Aussies. Danny, how's you, how you doing? No, I've never been to Australia, man. I'd like to go. Well, next time I go, I'm taking you with Look me. Look at then. this shit. Sparrow hadn't even been up here. Look at this. <laughs> How did this happen? That's, that's what happens when you have bulldogs. Like, I'm not even... Because you're petting her, and then you're touching, then touching, and you're touching yourself. Is that how much I touch myself? Like Jesus <laughs> Christ. I love myself. I want you to love me. Get down on myself. I want you above me. Well, the divinals. song is that? The divinals. I remember that song. I don't want anybody else. When I think about you, I touch myself. Oh, I don't want Why? anybody else. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh. That's a be- I love that song. It's a great song. That was a big hit for kids. For kids. But the, that's a, the whole song, when I'm down on myself, I want you above me. That's right. Fucking sex I want is you straight, above it, me. The sex is a straight mood lifter. That's the best. Right. And right. That's what I took from that lyric. I also might have gone like when she's going, when she's touching herself, she wants you to. And as, as funny as kids, though, you don't really. Yeah, you don't really. You don't like, really put it together. Into those lyrics. You don't really put it together. That's, yeah. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> As I just sang you guys the divinals, sorry. Like, now, <laughs> now you know what happened. One time, uh, uh, you know, I used to run a limousine company, right? Yeah. Um, and one, of, I gave my little sister a gift where I took her and her friends out in the limo, and took them to golf and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and took them to go do, uh, but uh, like but, like like miniature golf. Yeah. Oh, cute. That's cute. And I mean, that wasn't my. That's a good big brother. I was being a great big brother. Anyways, uh. But her friends, there were ten of her friends, and they're all idiots, by the way, like the dumbest people, dumbest people ever. She Sparrow just farted on me. <laughs> the room is full of bulldog farts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so they're bumping, they're bumping this song. I don't know who does this song, but does your does your thing hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? They're, you, they're bumping that song. They're bumping it. That, that's like that's that whole song. Do your ears hang low? Do right, they wobble but, to right, and fro? But do you tie them in a knot? Do you there's tie a hip hop. There's a female hip hop artist that does it the opposite. Does your thing hang oh. low? Right, and it's about some dude's dick. And they're singing it back there, and I'm going, "What the fuck?" They're kids. <laughs> they're tiny. Lo- they're all girls. And they're by like the, thirteen. And by the way. They they keep hanging out the the top of the limo is driving me insane. Baby, that's that that's a fucking famous thing to do. It's, Ill- every... it's illegal to do. It's illegal to do. Yeah, but big. Well, it's illegal. <laughs> but big. I get in trouble, especially I want to be especially big. underage. You know what I mean? It's illegal uh, as the owner, and I'm going sit down. I'm being that's that the guy. first thing I did when By I the was, way, my I, very first limo I drive. Dro- that's the first thing I, I did. I drove probably five times throughout the whole career of owning limos. Five times, and this was the fifth time, and that was it. <laughs> and I was like, like, I'm done." Oh, it was that was the worst job I ever had. But that's adorable, it was though, because br- you're doing it for your. I even sister. wore a suit. I even wore a suit for. I, I, yeah, I did the whole thing. I showed up, man. Opened the door, let everybody get in. Man, those little girls were dumb. They were so dumb. The whole <laughs> thing is rocking, man. It was like <sighs> they fucked my shit up. <laughs> they didn't get in the liquor, did they? No, there was no liquor in there. But, just, a, but it was waters and sodas and stuff. But that's know. adorable. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Yeah, I got. You're I gotta, such a good big brother. I have, I have a picture of it. I have a picture of it. Me standing outside the house, man. All, all, You're like, now get the fuck out of my car. I couldn't wait, man. <laughs> my dad took a picture of me, you know. But uh-uh. I, I picked him, you know, because of course she still lives with my dad. And so I rolled up to my dad's house, man, in the limo, suited up to the nines, hair slicked back, look all good, man. They, all the girls jumped in, and they're bumping this hip hop about guys' dicks. Your <laughs> thirteen-year-old sister. Thirteen, I th- probably even younger than that. I don't even know what they were. That's adorable. Yeah, I know. But Aww. I'm a good guy. You are a good brother. I, I also, I also went to to her classes with her too, and built stuff. Really? Yeah, I got pictures of that too, with me building little little blocks and stuff. Look at you being all cute. All hungover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why did I say I would do this? This sounds so horrible. Yeah, man. I showed up, man, to my little sister's show and tell. Big brother was show and tell. I was like, what's up, y'all? Aww. 
Damn, see, I wish I had a big brother like you. See? See? I'm not that much of, a, of no, an asshole. You're adorable. Hell yeah. I got pictures of that. My uh, my my uh, dad's wife hooked me up with a, with a bunch of those little pictures. I think that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, see? We should have your sister on this. Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> I'll pass. My poor, my poor I, sister, I though, I, I think need she... need to fill up the... I don't think she understands why I don't reserve. like... I don't constantly put her on blast on uh, on Instagram. It's because I I think I, you two need to have a heart to heart like no, but I don't, I don't now. because I don't I don't want it because there's so many people that follow me that are creepy as fuck that I don't want contacted or which they already do, and it makes me insane. But she's also an insane artist too. It like, makes she's me so it, good. It makes me insane. In fact, I shouldn't even be talking about it right now. But there's people that have contacted her bullshit stuff about her art. That I know they have no intention of buying her art, like, no, and they're only looking, doing it. To, you're, you're looking at my sister's boobs. No, they're only stomach. doing it to get to me, to get into my good graces because I've dropped them. Oh. I've dropped them in life because they're shit bags, oh. and it kills me to see that they're liking the pictures that she does. See, like, you, know. you, you understand then? We deal with shit bags. Yeah, but some of them are just doing it to get they're to doing me, it, which is even funnier. They're doing it to get in my good graces, but it's it's not going to work. Funny. It's not gonna work. <laughs> like they're, they're they're creepy. They're getting creepy on you. Uh, there's some of that. There's some. There's some of that where it's like they're going their roundabout ways to try to get in my good graces, and it ain't gonna work. You gotta you gotta pass, bitch. You know, if you once you get dropped, you get dropped. There's no coming back. Damn it! You know what, guys? I got a delay going on here, so I can't like all what? the all the the comments are comments, coming in. They're coming in funky. But people are. Why is that? Is it the internet? I mean, we already had a delay, anyways. Give but... me the comments. Give it to me. All right. So Tom says, "Hey, Sparrow just farted." <laughs> it doesn't smell though. She's healthy. Also says, "Pet me." She, Sparrow is healthy, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, a, let's answer. Comment. And Josh says, "This shit's pausing like crazy." It means that she's not pooping. She's waiting for you to open the door to go poop. I don't know. The shit's pausing. Oh, that, <laughs> no. well, that's what I took. Oh, okay. No, Facebook then, is pausing. Facebook is pausing. That's what that means. Oh, well, I took that differently. <laughs> I like my, I like, I like, I like my fucking idea better. <laughs> yeah. It's funnier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whimpers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If that's what it's doing right there. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's, that that's, that's unwatchable. Sorry, guys. That is unwatchable. Listen, th- what, it is what, what can, it is. What can you do about that? Is that everybody or just us? I don't. I don't. I'm gonna because, wa- because for us, this is what we see in our camera. The camera looks. Is it fantastic. the internet connection? It's probably the internet connection. I mean, it should be. I don't know what to do about that. Let's. I don't know it. what to do with it. Let's get out. All right, we're gonna get the fuck out of here, then, guys. Yeah, um, if that shit ain't working, we out. Yeah, sorry, but we love cocktail hour, with, like hour with you. I, that is I don't that know is what to fun. Do. That is fun. It I is mean, fun. Yeah, I like how you. I like how you. Took that shit's pausing like something else. Like, yeah, <laughs> no clue. <laughs> I thought her shit is pausing because the the fucking the, the thing right before that is that no. Sparrow farted. No, the actual Facebook is pausing. I like my idea better. Fuck you, Facebook. Yeah, that's irritating. Yeah. It, are we the only ones? Let's let's watch other people's shit and see if it's a uh, because I never watch anything. You know what? I, I've I've watched a couple of these today. And people have they got pauses and skips and stuff like probably crazy. because it's being overloaded. Yeah, I don't the think that, I don't think that Facebook because thought about it because nobody has any other way to fucking connect with people. Just think about it. Just think about it. Facebook is not, is all over the every human being, almost every human being in the world is on Facebook. Yeah. How, how about we do this? How about we um we we exit out of Facebook Live and then keep the the actual podcast rolling. Well, I mean, we hit the, we already hit a limit. We, we already oh, hit, we did. I mean, we're already rolling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's Fuck keep it. it. Live. What, what do we have to do? I'm tonight. It has nothing to do with that. It's my post. Oh, it's in post. It's me doing it. Well, we only have one camera. Okay. Yeah. Sure, easy. Why not? No problem. Why not? Let's do it. All right, kids, we're gonna bounce the fuck out of here. I don't. Yeah, I don't even know how to close out of this shit. But <laughs> it's paused. Well, let it it's roll just then. Stuck. Fuck it, let it roll. I bet you the audio's still going though. Oh, I hope so. We got we got people chiming in. I but... bet you the audio's still going. Fuck it, let it roll. Let it roll. Oh, see, the other people, 
Rihanna says it looks fine to her. Oh, okay. All right, well, fuck it. We're just going to let it roll. Whoever can join in, join in. But for me, it's pausing on my end, too. So hopefully it's not on your guys's. And, yeah, yeah, it's uh, all screwed up on our end. That's silly. Whatever. That, that is silly. It, it It's nice just to It's have, always something. It's nice to have people talking back and forth. I'd like to know what the audio sounds like on their end. Yeah, too. does it sound good for you guys? Is it okay? Sparrow, we'll Jesus out. Christ. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been petting her for this whole show. I've been she, petting her. She loves you. And then you. she whines the moment I stop. That whining's got to stop, man. It's driving me insane. Baby, that's what happens because you She's spoil your so puppy spoiled. butt. She She's so spoiled. She's so spoiled. And s- spoiled. She's the best to spoiled puppy butt, though. We went jogging, and she went nuts after this pit bull that was uh, on on this other side of the fence mm-hmm. with another guy. It, I, it usually doesn't bother me. It only bothers me when there's a, a, a person that can see how horribly trained she is. <laughs> and I'm like, don't embarrass me in the, front of the other, other bulldog owners. The other dog is so well trained. So she, she starts going nuts. So as we're ru- running, I grab her neck and just pick her up. <laughs> so now I'm running her with her. And I, I grab her. Oh, don't, and she's going nuts. And I give her an extra hard kiss as we're running. Like, oh, do it. <laughs> and put her down. Right? And then we just. And keep... That's how you get daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> you think Sparrow has daddy issues? Oh my god, she lo- Well, that's the reason why she likes to be tossed around. She, <laughs> she has one. She gives no fucks. Whatever she does, she gets kissed extra hard, and she <laughs> likes it. <laughs> yeah, you think she? You think Sparrow? Has daddy issues? Do you think yeah. you think that's a thing? Yeah. You think that's a thing with dogs? No, literally. If she was to go after any other like bulldog, like if we were ever allow that to happen, yeah. One, she'd be like, "I need you to bite me really hard." No, nah, she'd get fucked up. And then kiss me. No, not bite me like like. Oh. Yeah. If if Sparrow was a if Sparrow was a girl. Oh okay. Was a girl. Oh, you're telling she, she you're to telling be, me she'd be a stripper? No, I'm saying that she need to be choked. She need to be. Bitten. No, she wouldn't. How she dare have her you? Hair pulled. How dare you? How and then dare she'd you? be like, and then also you need to feed me. She'd be a little angel. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't know how to cook. She'd yeah, be a bad cook. She's that girl. She doesn't know how to cook. But she's like, feed me. Yeah, she's definitely wouldn't know how to cook. But I don't I don't think she'd be a slut though. See, Tom says okay, you sorry. Think? Tom says the audio is good. I know, it keeps on drawing me back. I'm sorry. Okay. No, it's Tom good. says no, audio's like good. Rihanna says, okay, everybody says it, uh, and then spoiled Sparrow. All right, okay, cool. we're good. Then, then we'll stick with it as long as you guys, whoever can tune in, let's do it. Yeah, but I think it's just different computers. Yeah, it's got to be an hey, over Hey, do you have to hit play on, on that thing? Nope. For it to work? Look, no. Look at the play button. I, I know. Hit it. Look. Hit it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's been doing it. Oh, uh, okay. It, like that's the one that's recording us, not this. So we good. No, no, no. I'm just saying for for our view, just to, to see if everything's are rolling because I don't think we're getting the comments in the right time, right? Uh, well, no, the comments are already coming in delayed anyways because oh, it's okay. because it's the Facebook feed. Okay. If we wanted to actually see the comments in time, we'd have to look at the. the I can't see right that there. far. So what you're saying to me is that Sparrow would be a slut? No, Sparrow would just like to have it hard. No, she wouldn't. How dare you? It would be because <laughs> you kiss her so hard, and then she does something bad, and she's like, she's gonna be that girl. She's like, I'm just gonna. How dare you? Fuck with this house a little bit. No, she would be. It would be missionary. And, and then and no, day. no, no. And, and, and then and then whoever she's with comes home, and he's like, Did you fuck with my kitchen a little bit? And she's like, Well, I just I rearranged your drawers. Was I being bad? Ugh. And then was I being bad? And he's like, you're being so bad. She's like, what are you going to do about it? And I'm always, <laughs> no, I'm the good dad. And and you try to discipline her. She's like, you're not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, and then I go, now Sparrow, you have to listen to Jenna when I'm not around. No, Sparrow's fine with me. And she goes, I'm not going to listen. No, you guys bond. Yeah, we totally bond. But she knows she can get away with stuff with me. Yeah. No, she I, she doesn't she doesn't act up when she's with me. When it's just me and her, we just sit there, we watch TV. She just going, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. But when it's just you and her, she like she has daddy issues. Well, like when people come over to the house, right, and she's kind of all over them because she wants you to pay attention to her. But if, uh, but I don't like when people tell her no. That makes me upset. Yeah, she's such a daddy's girl. <laughs> she's such a daddy's girl. 
You're a... <laughs> be... And Baron's all fuck this shit. I know poor Baron got the he got the business when he was a. He's puppy the older man. brother. Yeah, but Baron's a, he's a good boy, man. Listen, my brother, the younger one, he kind of got coddled. Now, I didn't, but I, li- I was also good. I, like I was how, just a good kid. Is it the same for dogs? Are we really comparing the same for dogs? It's all social experiment, anyways. Is it the same thing? You know, do you, do you feel? Yeah, she's a daddy's girl, and she's overly spoiled, which I, I believe she is. Though. She is a spoiled. She, she is. But I, I love you, Sparrow, but but you are a bitch because that's you're, you're a female right. dog. You're a spoiled bitch. You want and take that with pride. Right, she gets everything she wants. And then your yeah. dad gets to kiss you extra hard. I wish I got those extra hard. I discipline kisses. her with an extra hard kiss. Yeah, I like those extra hard right. kisses. But too. I kiss her when I'm really mad. I You're kiss like, her so mm. hard that I push her face over. Like push she me. likes it. And then I I, I go mm, I growl. And then she pays no attention. I growl. And then she goes back to whatever was whatever was making you mad. No, you know what she gets scared of. This is what scares her. Is when I do a, 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 a I'm not gonna do it because it makes her scared, but. Because it is when I get mad, I do an extra breath. So there's an extra breath, right? I, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do that, well, and it's not enough. And that myself. gets it. She'll, she'll, she knows that I'm angry at that point. Baron yeah. knows I'm angry when I say the f word. Oh yeah, no, Baron, get, Baron gets like the the. Or anytime I yell, like if I'm in here, like say I'm yelling at uh. It's it's crazy how he knows though. Like if I'm recording music mm. and say I want to do a scream or something in, in a song, that doesn't bother him. He doesn't even well, wake up. He doesn't even wake up. Dogs are empathic. But if I but if I'm getting angry about say a cable something with cable gets out and I yell, he'll go running out He's of the like, room. Oh, fuck, Dad's really mad. Yeah, he'll go running out of but the room. It's because that that's part of their survival skills is being able to tell the emotions that are going on with the animals in front of them with their with yeah. their with the other animals in the wilderness and dogs. Yeah. And, and or whatever's in their pack, being able to feel what the others are feeling cuz they right. go, "Oh shit, we need to be on alert." You know right? what's interesting too? Here's what's very interesting about Baron is that when I now, now that he's older, we never have a a go at it. Yeah, yeah. Never, never, ever, ever. But when he was kind of coming up, we'd have a go, man. Like I'd and I'd look into his. Because yeah, Baron was an ass. I'd look no, but even after that, there's some times where he'd sometimes, and I'd grab him. I'd be so more disappointed at him. Like, dude, we're trained already. What are you doing, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'd grab him. I'd look into his face. I'd grab, and he would look back at me like, you know, like we're both He's looking. Like, oh at each- yeah. And there is a why I get even more crazy with him is because there is a look in his face where in my brain I go, he might be able to fuck me up. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like if he wanted to fuck me up, we well, we'd have a is, go. Yeah, you guys can't see Baron on the on, on the screen, but he's our big boy for anybody who's just tuning in. Not only is Baron a big boy though, he fucks some shit up. He's gotten into a few dog fights and he smashed every one of yeah. them. Yeah, no, like no problem. Can I do a quick plug? Oh uh, sure, go ahead. Because we have so many new like viewers and people that uh, that are actually tuning in because of Facebook. Because we don't do we just started this because of the whole fucking quarantine. Yeah, um, SKR production. But yeah, if you guys want to go back to our yeah, go go back to the whole catalog. SKR SKR production house dot com has yeah. got the whole catalog of everything. Then you get to see all the asinine shit that we've done and talked about and the puppy butts. And yeah, everything and, and all that so. stuff. Okay, and while we're at it, look. I got a new single out, Ian Down on the Rugers. Not only that, I'm writing a book and I'm putting out chapters also. Audio book and text for sale. Boom. Right. And thank and and I've actually sold a few copies. Nice. I guess you call them copies. Yeah. You call it's them copies. a copy if it's a download? Is it a copy? Yeah, it's a copy. Because so, it is literally a copy of all of your words getting sent to somebody right, else. So I, to I hope you guys like that because I'm gonna keep putting them out. I and, love that. And and it's not even for a lot of money. And, and, and I have packages. You can buy different packages. <laughs> anyway, so thank you guys uh, for everyone that's been buying that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It, well, it's not. You know what's funny? I don't get excited about selling the music so much. It's cool that I'm I'm selling the chapters. That's yeah, cool. people actually just want to see that's your cool. words. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. So I, I'd love to know if people would rather get the text of the audio book, but it all comes together. Anyways. But. You, you see, we, we got comments going, oh, nice, awesome. Yeah, skrproductionhouse.com, skrproductionhouse.com. And, and you know what the one thing, like all this fucking stupid quarantine has done is that it's made people, one, appreciate the, 
the people that they have in their lives that are actually going to be stuck with them forever. Either that or it's yeah. made them hate them. But it, it's caused us to have emotions again instead of like hmm. forgetting who we're with. Interesting. And then on yeah. top of that, too, there's a lot of art being created right now. Like, people are and it's a lot of art that is being it's being put on video right. to where it's everything is documented. Like I scroll through my feed, I see people playing their guitars. I see people playing with their kids. I see people painting live paintings and shit, mm -hmm. which has always been done. We've always had these shows, but it's never been at such a documented pace where like whatever civilization comes after us mm -hmm. and they're able to extract whatever we have done electronically, Do they're going to be like, holy shit, these people are pretty well, fucking advanced. Do you feel it would be able to be extracted? Because a lot of these things just go off the internet. It's not actually being recorded. I think the next fucking civilization. I mean, I guess it's, I mean, I guess it's documented. I guess. Yeah. It's all, it's all up in that cloud. That but the, 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 but the how do you, eth the ether sphere that the, the more, uh, each, gonna have right. aliens so come if, down going oh these guys don't suck <laughs> these guys create art imagine, these guys are doing something unless the aliens just kill it like the aliens are up there like that's not music and they're like ding, 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 ding. whatever <laughs> we've been inspired. i'm picturing a like a sit a, an oversized sitar the aliens are sitting there like ding, 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 ding. and they're, they're aliens they're yeah. like these guys think you can play guitar look at this oversized sitar but but you aliens have like five arms you know how many so Fuck y'all. But what, what what makes me happy about it <laughs> is I that I know alien. so many of my friends that are musicians, like musicians, musicians, right? Yeah. That have had, they've been bombarded by work, by life, right? by the yeah. regular jobs. Me too, That guys. they haven't been Look, able to create. And yeah, I'm sure. seeing people that I haven't seen their creations in a long time fucking post shit. Yeah, uh, like it, it's nice to see. Like even while we're doing this live feed, it's cool. Like I'm seeing all my friends. Like M Mike Castillo's gone live with his set. Like, yeah. like I haven't seen him play in years. Right. Like these are these are my friends that uh, Scum is doing his regular fucking DJ set. <laughs> <where he's laughs> been, right, I yeah. love you, Scum. That's Thank funny. you because it's gotten me through my day the last couple of days. Like it's. It's nice seeing people just like now we're able to readily just like feed it to me because we're always on our fucking phones anyways you might as well watch the art of our friends be mm. created right before us instead of just scrolling and reading bullshit that's gonna feed shit that's m mind numbing nah you, know? you guys are doing that anyways well I'm, watch I'm watching I agree. my friends feed I agree. I'm enjoying that by the way I love your passion about that I'm no, enjoying that, that. I agree. no I agree it's great that people are doing it now's the time if you got a hobby or there's something that you're really needed to learn something you needed to learn now's the time yeah and i'm saying that for myself i think that it's really like get to work ian i think Let's that because you know there's a lot of things i want there's so many things i want to do and you know me the problem is is there's so many that's my problem is there's so many things you I gotta do. you gotta compartmentalize and be like this goes first, but also the problem is next. is i do it so i'll go and just do it but then it doesn't get all the attention it needs yeah because i'm so I want to do that now. Now I want to do that now, right? So, you're, you're kind of artistically ADD. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, I, I think I, I think that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when I get mildly good at it, I go, well, I accomplished that. <laughs> I'm a jack of this trade. Well, I think that may be it. Which I'm now. I've now in this age, I've figured that out. I think you know where I can just I I go. Okay, I got to get better. Just be a master at something. You know. Yeah, yeah. Rather than just a jacket of all of, all of it. Well, <sighs> but I think that started, I know where my brain goes on that one. It started because I never wanted to work a, 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 a you know, a, a day job. I get that. So I wanted to have all these little skills just in case. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which come to find out a lot of these things. If the world goes sideways, I don't know if those skills mean shit. Right. So, uh, Another, so you're practicing your bow and arrow, though. That's going to be. <laughs> now we're going. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and I can't shoot a gun out here. We're not. We, there's no ranges. We can go for a drive. We don't need to fucking. Have, you, you don't need a range to shoot a gun. What I would like places, to do. I got places we can go shoot that shit. Nobody's going to fucking care. What I would like to do is do like tactical shit. I'd like to go train some tactical stuff. 
Yeah, that's not going to happen, though, right now, because everybody's going to be like, I don't want to touch you. Well, those are those things that I wish You're I... You're not going to put this on. ...that I wish I would have done. You that, know. That, I think that... It's terrible, but... I, I, it'll happen soon. Yeah. It, it'll happen soon to where people like like hey listen we'll have two two or three people that we want to take out if right. you're if you're down to do this. I know too and many. We'll, uh, we'll disinfect everything. I know too many military guys that I have not taken in their knowledge of guns and and tactical, you know, um, tactical maneuvers and things like that. Yeah, right? yeah. Now you know I've started training with them but i'm even a mild very mild in the uh in the hand-to-hand combat realm you know i wish i would have put more time into that also you know it's too bad i didn't music fucked me up on that one <laughs> yeah. yeah way to be a musician i know like, i'm I was gonna like, feel instead yeah i know i know i'm gonna feel instead of learn how to fuck people i'm up. gonna show everybody that i have feelings well but the, it's the same thing i guess with fighting too i got mildly good and quit that and then, <laughs> and then moved on the music right well i think it's uh, you're I, like oh i did that i know i, I guess i can choke someone out it's good enough see but i'm the exact opposite like i, I will sit there and on a song for years. Yes. And like, nope, not good enough. Yeah. Nope, not good enough. Yes. And I won't move forward. Right. And so, like, I, I, Understandable. I, I don't go yeah. like, I'm uh-huh. going to get this because it's never good enough for right. me. Right, right, right. You know, where I admire that because you're like, nope, get up, gumption, let's go, let's do this. Which this whole, this whole fucking quarantine has actually allowed me to be much more like, I'm getting this shit done now. Well, also, this is, this is years of being a producer and an engineer. As yeah. a, at some point, uh, it's the best you got, and the more you work on it, you're going to ruin it. That's true. That's be, very true. You ever listen back to stuff and go, that was better yeah. than, the, than the finished product. Yeah, and the first one, you're like, ah, oh, what I fuck it up? I listen to so much pre-production stuff that is better than, my, than what's on the album. Yeah, I, I'm very much with you on that though too. Like now, easier I, I, said than done. I'm still fucking editing bullshit. You know what I mean? It's easier said than done because believe me, I know. And especially if you have, you have, you do your own stuff, you can go. Well, I can come back to it. I can do it. Nah, you can't look at it like that. That's bad news. You got to give yourself a deadline. Like if you were, if someone was put money into you, you yeah, have yeah. to do that, and you have to go even with art or or drawing. At some point, it is what it is. Put that shit out. Put it. Just put it out. And if it sucks, it sucks. Make another one. Yeah. You know, don't don't rest on one little thing. You have a million songs in you. You have a million drawings in you. You have a million paintings but in you. Like Just last put it night, out. last night, you're yeah. like, I want you to bring me another one. I have a lot Boom. of songs. Keep them coming. I have a lot of. We them. loved it. That was so fun for us. That but was fun for everybody. I, yeah. I don't I don't ever play them or show them because I'm like, no, I got to sit here and fix it. And I mean, fine I would tune it. That one though, that one I had, I, I, all those lyrics, I, I worked them out. Well, you know, that's but. what the that's what the idea of the Rugers is. Is we just what, what y'all got? Let's we're all we're all together. We'll play with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Rugers are like, uh, you want to go out and be a fucking genocide? We'll fucking play with you. We just want to play that guitar, man. Yeah, that's all we want. That's all we Ian. That's all I want to do. I want to play that guitar. And it felt- you can call me whatever you want. I just want to play that guitar. It really yeah. felt so good to yeah. be back there and like showing people, hey, so I got the song. Yeah. Can you and, guys help me work it out? And by the way, that was really fun for us too. Me and Nick and, and my brother, we we're sitting there, man, just looking at each other. We're trying to get ready. Go. That was fun. It's very fun yeah. to do that when it's not, uh, you know what I mean? It's something new and we get to sit there and it's it's not so whatever what, what the stuff I write, right? It, I think it's that fun. We, I, th- I think yeah. that once we get the like i'm having issues with this and it's fun when it's also fun when you're playing with guys that that can read a song yeah guys that can go they yeah, know they, they know they, they messed know up supposed to they go. know they they messed up just a little bit that'll be corrected yeah, on the next pass yeah, but that no also doubt. doesn't that doesn't matter though when it's live live and people know the feeling of that song they go oh right you know well you know there's a build up it's coming there's a build up somewhere yeah. even if you don't know it i yeah. think that i think that should be the next podcast we should actually do two live sets, me and you, just acoustically. Oh, do well. Do you think it'd be interesting to do a podcast where you're bringing a new song? Yeah, and, and to watch I, it I, develop. 
I have. You think that'd be I fun? I have so many fucking new songs I've never played. I am like you guys don't know when as a singer. I'm fine, but as a guitar player and a songwriter, when I'm playing my own songs in front of people, I'm yeah. terrified. I am, which is the one thing that once you once you. Uh, but it's nice when you got you got you got a backup guitar though, right? Like you got yeah, yeah that's good. You got Nick over there that can that can kind of. But so now, you, now we have to socially distance ourselves from everybody. That's I don't know if I'm gonna do that with my brother though. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Well, he's here all the time. I mean, he's already been here. I mean, he's, when do we end that's it? That's just it. He's here. But then all again, all he's the time. yeah. I mean, when do when do you end the social? That's my question. When do you end the social distancing? Do you do it? Do you do it? Uh, not with your family also. Now, if you're feeling what I understand, if you have a fever. Then of course, don't go around your family. I don't know. Maybe we, do, we should do the videos beforehand and have everybody check their fucking fevers, and all of us stay within. Well, six if you feet if apart. you feel awesome, come in. If you don't feel awesome, don't come in. But uh, maybe that's naive. What I'm saying, maybe it is. Yeah, but maybe it what is. What are you doing? But it's weird to say uh, to not allow your family, in which my band to me is my family. Well, so your band is literally your family. <laughs> technically, most of the band is my family. But it's from it, that's that's how I look at it. Do we not uh, hang out with our family through that? Now, well, if if you have a fever, just like I I missed my dad's birthday because I was I had a fever, not from Corona. It was just I got sick. It's because uh, I was hasn't been, haven't been sleeping and been working and. Man, we don't even cold, we don't even know. Like I was the one that brought that fucking cold or whatever it was in. I think it, you brought it in, but I also feel felt it coming because I did a, a two day stint without sleeping, and then I was out in the cold the next day. You know, so it brought. But I know what a typical little cold feels like. I know what it feels like. All right, hold on. Megan says, "Y'all, if I could play an instrument, I'd be writing." Yeah, that's true. Like, that's the one thing, like, that's kept me from being sane or from, kept me from going insane. Kept me from, right. <laughs> kept me from being sane. Kept me from going insane during this time. Cause... Right. And, 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 uh, right. Same thing. And the opposite. I've always kind of been playing, but I haven't been writing my book, which I started a long time ago. And I've been, I, I love to write. Love it. Yeah. Love writing. And now you get people buying chapters from you. Love not, that. not even the full book, the love chapters. That. Not a lot of people, but I love it. It's nice. That is nice. I was I think even thinking cool. about giving it away for free, the the chapter. But mm-hmm. I think you have to be. I, I I'm happy to give the music away for free, actually. But I don't think I want to give the chapter away for free. But only because I don't want just anybody willy nilly reading it. I want right. you to actually want to read it. It's more, yeah. It's yeah. more of an emotional thing for you, right? An I want you to actually because I'm saying I'm saying some shit in there that is not for like family to read. And shit, it's not for things like that. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but. I do enjoy I'm putting it to the music, so that's where the songs come from because it makes perfect sense. I don't write bullshit. I don't write about goofy, funny things. I write about what's in my life. I usually write about my family and and experiences. Yeah. So I'm writing chapters, but I'm here's what I'm doing. I'm shortening the chapters for the this one by one chapter. Yeah. So in the real book, it'll be longer chapters. Anyways. Oh, so they get more. You get more. But that's cool. but. And even in in the introduction, I have an introduction that you can download for free. But in that introduction, it's um, it's it's telling you that look, there's gonna be some fragmented sentences, and there's gonna be run on sentences. But I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's just you because spitting. because I'm 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 just giving it to you. I'm just straight giving it to you. But and I'm also telling you, it's selfish as fuck. I'm doing it for a selfish reason because it feels good. It feels it's like it's it's my therapy. It. it- you know what? That's the one thing that art has been for all this shit. It's been a huge therapy, yeah. and you're just you're just giving people something to connect to. Yeah, I think I love that. I was telling my buddy that uh, he he used to drum in one of my old bands, but he you know he's he, I go I go you know what helps me, man? I was we were having a talk. We were having one of those friend talks yeah, that yeah. you have, and I go you, you know what helps me, man, is writing these these tunes. That mm-hmm. right? so helps me, man. And I go, why don't you just write? Just write. It feel even though no one reads it, it feels like you're getting something off your chest. Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't you agree? Oh, I totally agree. Well, listen, baby, you've been with me for yep. four years now. 
And ooh, most ooh, of those years, I most most of those years, I've had, I've had a day job and a night job yeah. and shit that's yeah, kept work. me from yeah. kept me from actually being able to express myself and do my shit. Yeah, I've been going through this whole fucking virus. Most people are fucking freaked out. Yeah. I've been sitting there with a guitar in my hands. Yeah. I, have, I haven't been a pain in the ass, have I? Huh? I haven't been a pain in the ass. Uh, Any more than a gr- normal girl would be? Or? <laughs> I love you too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are a fantastic girlfriend. You're incredible. Oh, I love no, you're you a, even more. You're a great girlfriend, but you are a girl. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna, there's going to be girl things that yeah. I have to, that I have to deal with. But what I'm saying though is <laughs> that just, I haven't been a fucking pill. No, you're fine. Yeah, you're I've been right. I, I I've been I've been going off in the you're, studio you're, you're and like, baby, I, I need some time in here. Do you mind? And I've been recording stuff. No, you're a great girlfriend. And writing. You're, you're a great girlfriend. I'm not talking about being a girlfriend. I'm talking about oh. I've been I've been writing stuff and oh. escaping. Yes. Yes. I, I, I've been making myself busy. Yes, I think you know, that's good. With good stuff. Right. And then bringing it to you and be like, hey, check this out. Can you play this? Right. I like, um, I just, I like things just getting done. Whatever it is, I like it getting done. <laughs> I know. No, you know, no, I mean, if you, if you wanted to, yeah, if you go, I want to write a song, I like that you're getting it done. I want things done. But- if you say, I want to, whatever, I want to paint. Okay, then, want then I need you to paint. So I need you to, I like anyone I to do I need you that. to do what you want to do. Yes, that's, that's that. what I'm getting at. I need love you to that. do stuff. Do what you want to do. Do I, what makes you happy. Right. That, and I think just little thing, little tiny little things like that make things better. I mean, right? during this whole thing, I've Even had... if your painting sucks. <laughs> Even if your song sucks. No, I'm serious. M- me too. It goes for me. I have, there's some there's there's a painting out there that I look every look at it every day that is awful that I did, but the fact that it was that day that I go I really want to paint this picture and I did it. There's something about doing it that feels good. Yeah, it felt good. Now when I look at it, I go that's garbage, and I'll paint over it. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint over it. But I'm just saying, I th- because I, I I don't know what I'm saying is that I. I'm definitely from a place where people do not do what they wish they could do. Megan wants to know what's your book about. Uh, it's mainly about the songs that I wrote, but it's usually about me growing up and and family and friends. But and my crazy you're, you're adventures. You're releasing this with the album, though. Too, I'm releasing it with the album. As a partner to the album, so right. it's like a prologue to what all the songs are about. It's it, it's literally about what the songs are about with the lyrics. So all the lyrics are there. And and then I explain the top of every lyric. Yeah. So I explain where it comes. So that's what it is. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I'm explaining the songs in in long form, basically. You know, I, I always look at you like you you're such a you're such a strict businessman, mm. but I forget that like all the business that you're doing is so heavily endowed with everything that you're doing artistically. I don't I don't really pay that much attention to it, and I'm sorry about that. Like. You, sh- you, you're an artist. No, you don't need to apologize. I don't no, know what no, you're No, I'm saying you're just an artist. Like, I want to be that because my my day job is like you've immersed yourself in trying to make your art your everything. Whereas yes, I have tried. Yes, my my day job is the exact opposite of my actual night job. You know, I come home and I I record songs and stuff for other people, but it's still artistic, you know, because yes. I got to I got to incorporate music. Day job has nothing to do with that. Well, OK. Although I do make art while I do the day job. Yes. Now, there is there is a different thought to that. And Where, I get to play hide and seek. Yeah. I mean, you still got a good job. It for One thing, the grass is always greener. That's always one thing. Yeah. But um. The day job a lot of times will fund your night job. It does. That is a fact. It does. And that also that's also a fact with a lot of people that you don't even know. But um, sometimes when you go, I always wanted to be a producer and make music, right? Mm-hmm. Boom, you become a producer, and you're you're producing what? You're producing. Now I'm not I'm not knocking it, but some t- like you're producing audio books. You're producing these things to make money because you own your own business. You really have. No, you not, are literally just n- producing. Right. Now you're doing stuff like I did this to produce music, but the real money a lot of times is not even in music when it comes to audio. There's all kinds of different ways to do audio. So it's kind of the same 
thing. You've kind of made your own little day job. Yeah. And then that's not exact. And, and so, so it's kind of the same thing, you know. So I used to work for my father, and that was a great job. My dad's a great boss. He's awesome. Yeah. And we, we, we sold copy machines. My dad sells copy machines and repairs copy machines. That's what he does. And he's great at it. My dad is a hustler among hustlers. And I worked for him. But in hindsight, he, um, it, it's, it's supportive. If I kept that job and I kept um, delivering parts for my father and I kept doing all that stuff, it's not a bad job to supplement. Have a, Whenever you have an right, income be, loss. Right, because he's also supportive of, of well, he became supportive of things that I was doing external of, of cool. the job. But you don't see that within. Yeah. You don't see that within. Now, as as a grown man, you can kind of see that. To, it wouldn't hurt to have a little, little day job, little ex, little money flow coming in all the time. So I think the grass is always greener. You know, I guess no so. matter where you are. But right, being here with you and actually having this time now to create, it's been really nice. Oh, good. It's been really good. nice. Good. Like I, I feel like a musician again. Yeah. A musician, musician, and songwriter, songwriter. Now. Yes, and sometimes you know what's interesting is I get frustrated mm-hmm. with artists that aren't creating. Do, I know. You, do you, you get, see you, that with me? You get frustrated with me all the time. Do you see that with me? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what happens. I start getting frustrated with mm-hmm. artists that aren't creating, especially when they're talented. Mm-hmm. And I think it starts to blow up in other ways. So I start to get, I'll start to be shitty. You're, or like, you're not even doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Yeah. Right. I get shitty. I think because. Then, I, I, I hate wasted talent. You I, you have right. on many occasions yeah. where I'm like, I'm bored, right? I'm yeah. coming home from a long day at work. Right. And I don't want to work at all. And you go, pick up your guitar, which I should always see that as like encouragement to do something awesome. But I go, I don't want to work. Right. You Me know? too. Yes. But now right. it's it's nice because it's not work anymore. It's back to being like this is what I wanted to do. Right. Like if I just did eight hours of doing an audiobook. Yeah. I don't want to mix my music. And that's the producer's curse. We talked yeah. all producers have though. Everyone listening or whoever does that, it's when you're making money, that's how you make a living. It's other people's projects where you make the money yep. usually. The the yeah. asshole that said <laughs> Get into the business that you love, and you'll never work a day of your life. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I mean, fuck him in the asshole with a broomstick. That well, guy's an ass. I mean, it's it's kind of it's, ass. It's, it's kind of right. It's kind of right. Almost right. It's kind of right. But is make anything that you love yeah. your your source of income, and it will right. become work. Yes. It will become work. Yes, I think that's correct. That's correct. But if you can cu- keep the right state of mind, go. To say, well, I'm not laying bricks. Yeah. I'm not um, roofing you're, in you're July. You're not plumbing somebody's fucking tampons out of out of pipes. Right. Yeah. Right. And I've also worked a bunch of terrible jobs in my life. So, Ditto. Yeah. We've all worked these we, these horrible jobs, and I don't have to do that anymore at the moment. Which, if I go back, I don't care. I'll fucking work anywhere. I'll I'll be a janitor. I'm happy. I'm happy to have a job. I'm proud. I'm proud to have a job. Right. Well, no matter what it is, I don't care what it is. If I'm a janitor, I'm a, I'll be the best motherfucking janitor you can you can find. You and I both come from the working class. Got, guys, I can't see any of your 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 stuff that. You, oh, your, is it not coming through? It's just it's just freezing, and I I see it up on my phone where people are talking. So I, I saw, but the last thing I saw was my homeboy Josh saying, "We're all still drinking." Oh. Okay. So, well, look, guys. Cheers. We got. Cheers. We got. We got into it again. Yeah. So this is a, right. Anytime you guys go drinking with your friends, you're, it's <laughs> it always is, gets into like it goes. It goes right? from you start it, talking it's like about a like coaster. you start talking about fun things like strippers and rock and roll and shit, and then you get into like you know, oh my father or whatever, right? <laughs> you know what I really think that I think that yes, we're we're all we're all. Here to be artists and create, and life yeah. is just art in itself. Well, oh, what, what you're talking like you've been doing some drugs or something? You're just drinking. You're no, like, I'm, I'm artist life. No, what is the universe, man? Well, that that becomes all of our conversations. It though. does. It, 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 it really does. It ends up getting. There, I've man, done enough always... drugs that my brain just travels there, anyways. It ends up getting there, but yeah, it's true though. Anytime you go out drinking with your buddies, mm-hmm. at some point it'll get into something uh deep right yeah it kind of does 
Yeah. Well, that's the good thing about you and I. Yeah. We've always been able to to we have, we got the gift of gab, and yeah. we can talk to each other. Yeah. And it always ends up going on this roller coaster of funny strippers farts. <laughs> <laughs> funny strippers farts art deep deep you gotta yeah right the deep though you gotta get out of it though at some point it can't end with the deep no i love the deep oh you do like yeah, you know what we're we're stuck here being real now like now more so than ever people are in front of a camera yeah just imploding exploding just like this is what I am because I have no way to express myself. A lot of these people are stuck at home alone. I'm thankful that I'm here with you. I'm thankful I'm here with the dogs because if I was at the if I was in my own apartment by myself, doesn't that sound awesome? Oh my god, you just yeah sit there for about and, two days, three days. Awesome to me. You know how many people I can just send over to you? Be like, no, this sucks. Well, hold on a second. I'm hold stuck on a sec. here alone. If you're if you're in your place alone. Mm -hmm. What, you can't have your buddies over? No, people are afraid to come over. Baby, we've dealt with that. We've dealt with that being like, hey, come over. No, we got to work on some music. No, We're going to record some nah, shit. Nah, my friends are coming over. My no, friends. your friends have not come over. Some. Exactly, and it's getting more and more so. Nah, my real friends are like, dude, come over. Let's have some dinner. Straight up. I, my real friends are like, nah, it's all good, brother. That No one gives a fuck. But... What I'm saying, I mean, you is give a fuck, people, but but people, are, it's it's gonna get more and more so. Where where uh, people are gonna get more and more shut yeah, off. I know, and it, those being stuck in a house alone right. with nobody and that to may talk be, to. That may be again. I mean, may, talk to Izzy. <laughs> I mean, that may be stupid. That may be stupid, but all my friends I grew up with are like, bro, let's come over and have some dinner, man. You know, what I mean, like, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die together. You know, that's different. That's family. Well, I mean, the, but yeah, you and your boys are a fucking family, but a lot of people out here are transplants that have nobody. Right, right, you know? right. And crazy, then, it's crazy. And to then fucking again, think about again the if we're gonna die, we're gonna die together is stupid because all my friend has friends have kids. Yeah, so if you think about babies. it, if you think about it, it's kind of a dumb. I don't have any kids, so that's Eric, I got dogs. That's kind of dumb. That's kind of dumb. No, but I do have family, so. I guess it's that's stupid for me to say I don't have kids. It's no, just I, a I have family. It's a different world that we're all traveling through. Uh, right. But here's the thing. Say my right. I know cuz you know like uh, I'm not going to not hang out with but it's true. No, actually no, that's bullshit. I yeah, didn't go I didn't go to my, I didn't out. go to my father's birthday because I had I was ill. But and, and so, you knew you were ill and you know that your father's wife has got asthma and issues she has asthma, and right. you did not want right. to fucking hinder any of that. Right, your but dad I, said no. But I stay feel home. good now, so let's get together. Yeah, but you don't And we're we're all fine with that you now. You don't know who who's caring anymore. Right. Okay, we went back into the coronavirus. I don't want to well, do that. Well, I think you have to. It's not even about the coronavirus. It's about it, people being It's about respecting people. It's about well, it's about being people being stuck with each other, but I got to tell you Amongst this, uh, my friends, if you're feeling alone, come the fuck over. I'm just straight up. I'm serious. Now you got to be none right. of them are gonna come over. No, no. If you're, I don't care. I like being alone. But if you are, <laughs> I know but, you but if you are feeling alone and you're lonely, come the fuck over. I'll have a drink with you. I'm serious. But I don't know if that's your. But if you're feeling terrible, don't come over. If you like, if you're if you have a fever, don't come over. So That's what I'm saying. The last <laughs> comment I got on here. Oh, people are people are like bottoms up. People are drinking with us. Good. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you, you for guys. drinking with us. Thank you. I got. Thank pee you for. Too. Oh well. I'm gonna go pee. Yeah, go pee. Guys, I'm gonna go. I'll, pee. I'll, I'll carry and I'll try to figure out this shit and try to. Frail's gonna follow me out. <laughs> she's, she's like, yeah, dad. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come in on the on the phone hey, to see what the fuck you guys are saying. Here, yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Do you hear? Yep. Can you hear that? Looks like naked gun. Oh. <laughs> Josh. Thank you. Yeah, we we get deep 
And then we do try to break the tension because, you know, you got to keep the fucking ball rolling on it. And uh, I was glad you guys are tuning in and drinking with us. God, I miss my friends. I miss seeing people. I miss being at the bar. I really miss being at the bar. No, you don't. Just wait to all. He says, I want to stay at home. He doesn't want to stay at home because we go out and drink all the time. <laughs> Megan, all by myself, right? Oh, I just got an influx of all your guys' comments, so coming in on it. My mom is, see, that's just it. Like, my mom wants to come over. Mom, I, I want you to come over, and I miss you, but I really feel like, because you live with Ita. She lives with my grandmother, and I don't want to, I, I go out every couple of days to go get groceries. I don't know who the fuck is being gross now. <laughs> like, I look at people, they're like, why are you, like, I, okay, people wearing masks. I look at them like, why do you have to wear that mask? Yep. Hey, Baron, uh, are you are you afraid you of? Baron, come on and eat, buddy. I look at him. I'm like, are you afraid of actually like spreading something, or are you afraid of getting it? Do you live with somebody who is is not okay, and then I gotta worry about that? And I, I, I I've been walking around with Lysol, with fucking Lysol, spraying everything down before I touch anything. And I'm not that person that's afraid of germs, but I've been doing that. And I, I want to go see my family, and I, I miss my family. I miss my family. I miss my people that I work with. But I just I, I don't want to endanger anybody, and I don't want... It's not like I don't want people to come over either. I want you to be here. But Mom, sorry, you, you, you live with Ita, and I'm afraid of that. But I love you, like more than anything. I'm sorry, I'm looking at your guys' comments, and it's gonna take a second. I should probably just come over here. Oh, I think you guys are kind of caught, caught up. <laughs> Man, I, I'm baked. Oh, girl, I love you. Good. I I I want you guys to like. I I wanted this to have like cocktail hour. We just we just fucking drink. I miss my bar. I miss my bar. I miss my bar. Because I like to go out and I like. I'm a drinker. You guys know this. But I drink socially. I don't like drinking alone. I do have a regular fucking drinking habit, anyways, whether I'm drinking alone or not. But I don't like drinking alone. Let me see. <laughs> Josh, you got a baby, y'all. Come over. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm, thank you guys for tuning in. I miss my friends. I miss my family. This is something that's fucking weird. It's really fucking weird that we all get this together. It's unprecedented fucking bullshit thing that nobody knows it's real or not but I actually do have friends that are sick and they're in the hospital so I've tried to up our game in being pretty good at staying home it's different when you have people that are over here all the time to know whether or not you're being safe or not you know what I mean and then I have friends that are going to work that still have jobs, but they they have families. So what what do they do with that? You know. Oh, okay, I wasn't gonna go in the fucking coronavirus. Thanks, Josh. I won't go down the fucking rabbit hole. All right, baby, come and save me. Can we drink more? I'm going down a fucking rabbit hole. No, I'm back. I have to get the dog's handle. Holy shit. <clears throat> I bet you Sparrow falls asleep after this. <laughs> no, she comes back and she goes, mm. No, she's fine. Mm. I think she was whining because she was hungry. 
What I happened? Mi- I missed you start, my... You started I'm, getting in you know, a bad saying. rabbit hole. Uh, well... You need my goofy ass to get you out of a... And, and I, talk about... I do. German bukkake. My mom said that she'd come over, and I feel not comfortable with her coming over because she lives with my grandmother. She, why, why not? Because she lives mm. with my grandmother. So? Who has got many health issues. Oh. Exactly. What, what are you talking about? Coming over, uh, why? Because Be- we're, we're just talking about having, because fa- we were talking about having family and friends over and stuff, and like your brother's over all the time. Because you guys work together mm. musically, like literally, yeah. he's over here. He's over here three times a week. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have no problem with her coming over, but I do though. Oh, because I do because she lives with my grandmother. Mm. Right. And I miss her. I, 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 I see mm. my. I'm a person. I see my mom biweekly. So, do you think they're, that they're, the virus may be living within us younger? Yeah, "Quote unquote like, younger folk." I, I think that you and I probably already had it. I, I think that I, 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 I got to be honest. I feel pretty good. Well, not saying that. I'm like saying that my, I think my that my wind spurts okay, were so, on point. So that cold that I got, because there are people that are there are people that are, are documented having just signs of it, like just a little cold, and there are people and they're testing positive, and then there are people going full blown coronavirus. Right. And it, it's like pneumonia and shit. There's a lot and of it's cases. killing people. I just saw the news, too, about a 102 woman that have just pulled out of uh, coronavirus. She was 102 that got it. And uh, she's pulled out and is fine now. Well, she's got a healthy immune That's system. That's good news. Then. That is good news. We, yeah. I, uh, and you. I, I don't want to start talking about it. We don't have to. It. Okay. You, Try you, not to. Because it's I'm, in my brain. Should we not bring it up? or? I think we might need to have another podcast about it. All right. Well, because you have a friend that. that Supposedly yeah, I have a friend it, that's right? fighting in the hospital right he's now. He's fighting it. He's in the hospital right now for yeah. for having coronavirus. It's so. something that's re- and, and he's young. He's young. He's healthier. Is he, is he fighting it or is it a thing that he has and now they, they got to get rid of it? What are they doing to get rid of it? What's the treatment? They're saying in three. The he's got to no, be in there three in, weeks. No, he's been in there. Oh, he's been in there for, th- for three weeks already and yeah. that you're just now hearing about it? Yeah, it's somebody that you don't that you don't want to leak things before. Like, you, you work with people. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right, you don't. I can tell you don't want to talk about. No, it. I, I don't. I don't really want to talk about. Okay. It. But it's hard. It, 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 and it hit. It's but the hard thing is not is to talk hit, about. It. it hit home to me. Yeah. You know, I want to see my. I want to see my family more so now. More so now because I know I have family that's susceptible to it, and I want to see them and I want to be with them. Right at this time, I w- in case anything fucking happens to them. Now do I'm you, gonna fucking cry. Now, okay, you ready? You guys ready? So, those of you that are watching, if you've ever been in jail and or prison, it's you have the very. It's. That was my knuckles. Oh no! Sparrows drinking toilet water. No. Are you literally drinking motherfucking toilet water that I just see you? <laughs> she, that's how much she's got daddy what issues. Doing? You have a full thing of water, you silly butt. Man, she's nuts. Bro, you're nuts. Uh, that's why your face smells like pee. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what. Guess who Damn gets it. a bath? Oh, that's why I don't give her kisses anymore when I her still face smells like I pee. Her. I love her. She, She's Spar- definitely got daddy issues. S- <laughs> Sparrow could put her face in diarrhea. I'll still kiss her. <laughs> what are you doing, silly butt? She's like, I want to drink what you your do? pee, dad. Hey, what, I, what my point was is it feels very, those of you that have been in jail and or prison for more than a week, it feels very similar. You really start thinking of uh, your family yep. and accomplishments and... Um, you really start thinking of things that you do wrong and things that that don't mean anything to you, right? And I think um, that's what this is doing. It, although, like, if we're gonna look at little positive, if we're gonna try to be positive, yeah. Um, what this does is it looks at things that really matter, that's, and having that's little true. having little fights with your family and or friends so over stupid. um something uh, over a movie you loaned them. You know what I mean? Or or something silly. You, you know what it is. I also like the the fucking weird social things that we've been. All that's for, right for 
for the last right. decade. Yeah, right. Like, Pe- people... This is stupid. Like we're all humans. Well, we're, we're all humans, and, and we're all shit, and we're all dumb, and we're all we're smart. All dumb. We're all dumb. We're all smart. We're all weak. We're all strong. Everyone has their little capabilities, but it I, that goes back to the stupid universe thing I keep saying. But it's a horrible tragedy what we're doing. But it also but come throughout history when tragedy hits, a lot of great things happen. A lot of things get invented. A lot of great art happens. A lot of people start to understand what becomes really important to them. Yeah. And I and this is our our tragedy at the moment that I think people need to start so, reconnecting with their family if they're fighting over their shoes or if they're fighting over because they didn't give back a shirt that they loaned them. Our grandfathers right. got called to war. And that's why our they grandfathers look at us like we're pussies. Holocaust. <laughs> right. They're like, w- right. we got called to war and had bullets flying on our face and had to face the fucking Holocaust and 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 literally genocide. Again, you guys right. gotta go to your couch. Again, just like um, jail, prison, war. War is a great one. A lot of people that have been in war, and when they people are, they understand when people are fighting over nonsense. Yeah, they don't get it. I've never been to war, but I have I have a few friends that have have seen action in war, and all this random stuff that people are fighting over on the internet is. Silly! You're going. What are you? What is this? Hey, listen. What I've seen this? a lot yeah. less fucking politics in my feed. That's for goddamn sure. I, I think, man, it's just the universe going. Stop what you. Stop it, guys. <laughs> you know, stop just it. Stop. You have it easy. Just be humans. You're so. It's so easy. Especially we're in Southern California. You all bleed it, the same fucking color. Just not be only. Humans. Not only is it easy, but in Southern California, it's even easier. We don't, oh, yeah, have, we don't we don't even have the weather. Cold. We don't even have to deal with the weather. You know? Although it's been quite rainy. Now, which I like. That that's not what I'm talking about. That's I, not I know, what I'm talking which about. Which I like. Right. Live in Siberia or even just <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Even just live Maybe in your I get cold just thinking about it. I mean, even just live in the uh, the mountains here in Southern Cal- or, or not even so- Northern California. Mm-hmm. Northern California. You know what I mean? It's brutal. It's crazy. I love NorCal right? though. Yeah, NorCal, but I mean, they got good weed. Good and I don't weed. even smoke weed. I think I good right. weed. Right, but I mean, if you live like my mother lives in the Yosemite area, you got you still gotta you gotta shovel snow. She drives a tractor. You know what I'm saying? Like she sh- or, or used to it. Anyway, she's too old now, but she you know she, uh, she fucking before you go to work every morning, she's plowing snow. Yeah. With a tractor every morning. Yeah, you know. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. And then she drives an hour to work, and then drives an hour back. After but after a twelve hour shift, the, you know, half so. the country is dealing with this, and they're still in the middle of their fucking harsh winter. Right, right. Fuck that. So right. And I have friends that in Minnesota. I I I I've been I've been doing a daily checkup. Right. On people that I care about, so I, I will message them. Going, I need to do that. Also, what the fuck are, are you okay? Yeah. What's going on? I know weather's harsh up there. I know that you actually work in the fucking medical field. What the fuck is going down with you? Like that's the one thing we should all be doing right now is really. I'm looking at it. You may need to scoot in. I don't think you're getting. Oh no, no, I'm okay. Okay. Um. It's almost more me. I'm not used to being it's, more me. It's all you, baby. No, it, usually when we do these podcasts, it's more you than me, it, which I like. Well, I like that better. That's just not how it's working. Okay. Well, but I've I've been trying. I've been I've been doing that on a daily basis. I have my rounds of people that I know should get checked up on. And then I have my friends. I'm like, you're a conspiracy theorist. You should probably really get checked. Are you okay? <laughs> like mental wise, you okay? Right. You know? And then you like family. I've been reaching out to family a lot more. I'm going to do which that Which I tomorrow. never yeah. do. I'm going to do I, 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 I never, I'm bad at that. I'm normally really bad at, though I, I connect with people physically face to face with what I do all the time. I'm bad at connecting well, with my actual family people that I sometimes, love. Sometimes, um, have you ever experienced something? Now, please be honest. You can say no or yes, but okay. have you ever experienced something that you feel uh, you're about to die, like now? Have you ever experienced that one? Hmm. No. Okay. No. 
Have you ever? Exper- I've been in car accidents where I didn't know I, I could have probably died from okay. it. Okay. Or, or, okay. Have you ever exp- something to where it's those things that immediately makes things null and void? Insignificant. Insignificant. Right. No, I think this is what makes things insignificant. For right. Me. This is, these are the things that were, where it comes yeah. from. Right. And I, and I think that's where with all the craziness of people accusing everybody of being sexist and racist and all these little weird things, I think because things got super easy where we don't have to deal with anything like that ever. Super touchy. Super touchy where you can't just say hello to somebody or something like that. You can't like make that, a right? joke. And it's weird for a lot of a lot of people. Yeah. Right? Now, I feel I have experienced a lot of those things where I'm about to die like now. Yeah. And a lot of and immediately when you're about to die, you can flash through your whole life in seconds, in, in milliseconds. I'm like, that was stupid. Not only that it was that stupid, all the people that you love just go yeah, like that. Fuck Man, that was a good that. sound effect. That was a good sound effect. That was effect. a great sound effect. It was really good. But it was all the people you love just go and then you, everything becomes secondary. Yeah. Right? And I think these are these little signs, even though this is a terrible tragedy, but this is a sign that we must uh, contact or, or say I'm sorry or thank you or I love you at some point Yeah. before it becomes over. And I think this is a little warning that maybe it's time to start doing that listen they're saying there's you a know. fucking comet that's gonna hit the earth in fucking in 11 days kids right just saying right <laughs> this is all the conspiracy theorists in my conspiracy theorist brain right but i agree like this has made me much more aware of how much i love those people that i don't tell them that i love them right yep mm-hmm mm-hmm and I've never had that moment. I've had many moments where I should have died. Now, I ma- should have really fucking died. Now, make sure it's real. Make sure that you say you, I love you. Make sure that shit's real. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, it, it's been on. Because it, there's a few different types of I love you, right? <laughs> right? There's no, no. A, this, this is, there's, a, there's a love you. And then there's I love you. But even right? the people that I get. even uh, No, I, I've been trying to do that. Even the people that I say love you. Yeah, because like, I don't, I don't really spread that out too much. Mm-hmm. But if if you're enough to be on my phone chain for me to fucking be like, I want to check in on you. I actually fucking care about you. Right. And and it's been a. <laughs> I have my friends on a every three days basis. You okay? Do you need anything? Mm-hmm. I'm going out for a run right now. I'll leave stuff on your doorstep. Like and that. That's literally. Mm-hmm. Me trying to make sure is everybody fucking okay. If you can't get out right now, are you feeling sick? If you're not feeling sick, you're cool. But I still am going for a run. Can I pick you? That's why, like my 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 grocery runs have lasted hours. Now, do you think it, it's it's kind of the same thing as when nine eleven hit? Yeah. Right? When we got hit with nine eleven, we were so not only were we patriotic, right? That people had American flags yeah. all over the place, which for some reason the American flag became not okay somehow. But we had American flags everywhere. Everyone's putting candles on their uh, on their on their porches and things like mm-hmm. that. And everybody was kind of together as uh, as Americans, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not even saying now. It's, I'm not even saying for Americans because I, let me make this straight. I am not exact. I'm not a proud American. I'm not a proud. Jew. I'm not a proud white guy. You're not proud I'm, of I'm a proud. I'm a proud Ian. I'm a proud my mother and father's son. Right. That's what I'm proud. Family. Of. Family. Right. So, but these are the, what I'm saying is after 9/11, it kind of started to trickle away again. Right. We yeah. all were like we're together. But, we are together. So like, and what, then it went away. And so then it like, went away. like when right. uh when that when the uh not, it it wasn't it was the shooting that happened in France. Everybody had like the Boom. stand yeah. by France, right? Sure. You know, it like there's there's nationalism that has come into all these tragedies, which is, great. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Fucking love your love your country. And the fires in Australia. Exactly. Love your country. Fight for your country. But now we're at a time where this is a pandemic. Mm. This is worldwide. Right. Like I have, I have friends in 
in Sao Paulo on here. I have friends in fucking Argentina. I've got friends in fucking Australia. I got friends in fucking China watching this shit. We're all going through the same shit together. The whole world is on fucking lockdown. Right. Everybody's fucking economies are crashing. So now it's not like a, I'm proud to be an American. It's like, I'm proud to be a human. Can we just be good people? Right. Thing. You know? Now I'm wondering. That's when never that, happened. I'm wondering when that's going to end. There's never been a time that, you know? there, that there's ever been a digital world that could relay one country's strife to another. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Where that's ever, that's never happened because there's been many plagues that have hit this planet over and over and over again. There's been the Black Plague three times yeah. in our recorded human history. Right. You know. So this is the first time there's ever been something that's killing now people I, worldwide now that I we all this, can connect. I said this last night though. Now, uh, uh, there's more people dying uh, in months from drugs or from uh, prescription drugs yeah. than this epidemic. Thing is that that's not, that's old news. It's not new. Mm. That well, shit's been happening for, for right, but we decades. Don't, but we and, don't, for, 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 it's been happening for a millennia. People right, are but we do, don't do overdosing. anything about it and we don't, we don't panic. People are panicking because it's spreading so fast. Mm, well, so is the drugs. So, mm. is, so is Oxycontin. Which, Not at the moment. Which is awesome. <laughs> 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 Look, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take that ba- right back right now. And here's why. If you... No, I, I was about to say something shitty. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love watching you go, nope, don't say no, that. I know, my brain. You watch my brain go, nope, uh-uh, bad. No, Ian. Nope, don't say that. No, but it's... Uh, right, but in statistics, more people are dying from... Uh, Oxycontin, right? Yeah, but but this is also they're the, also dumb as fuck. Stop taking so many of them. But you got to think, baby, too. This is also <laughs> and it's self, it's self. Uh, yeah, self-medicated. it's self inflicted, self medication. Right. But okay, so also, I'm gonna take that back. I'm not gonna say that. Also, anymore. you got to think about it. This is the first year of this virus that has happened. Right. The flu has been around since forever. Yeah. You know, people used to die from the flu. People still die from the flu. They try to peck that shit out with a, with people, a mockingbird. S- people still die from the flu. Yeah. This shit uh, has been around. That shit, like cold, flu, yeah. uh, pneumonia. No, people are, it, it, they cut out and people are actually, fuck, uh, preach. There you go. I'm telling us to preach. So it's coming in? Yeah. Because it looks frozen to me. Well, no, the screen's actually on right now. The 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 thing about Jigger, people are re-logging on because it was frozen a minute and a half uh, ago. That's irritating. It is, but literally, this is something new that's yeah. happening to the entire world at once. Right. Within a span of five months, this entire thing has spread through almost every country on the planet. Right. Almost every country has been touched by it. And I'm only saying almost because I haven't actually looked to see if every fucking country has got any I, sort I'd of love diseases. to know from everybody because, um, you know, we uh, went to the park, did mm-hmm. sprints, pull-ups, whatnot. There's probably about you 70. Your hands. There's probably about 75 people there. A lot of people were at the park. Tons of dogs. There is even someone even rolled out a gym on the park. Did you? I don't know if you rolled by, but someone rolled out a on the go gym. Oh no! I, I, had a full, I just it had a full it. bag bench, uh, dumbbells, whole nine yards. Anyways, I don't, I don't. But so, would you feel that all that is irresponsible? Is it irresponsible uh, for me to just go to that park and be running ten feet behind somebody else on can, a, on a can, track? Can I be honest? Yes, please. I'd be totally honest. Please. So. Go ahead. Up into all this, I, I really thought, I'm like, well, you know what? It's just like media sensationalism. I still feel. And yeah. then when I found out a friend of mine, like somebody I've toured with, yeah. somebody I care about mm-hmm. very much, right, is there in the like. It's the first time it hit. It really hit home yeah. to me. Right. And this is somebody who's been in contact with all of us. Right. Through other people who've been in contact with all of us, you know, like that hit home. Yeah. That's why when my mom's all, I'm going to come over. I'm like, nope. 
I also feel I don't want you to because here's my thought not, on that though. All of a sudden, it has to be somebody you know for you to care. Doesn't it always? Uh, no, no. I think that's where the problem lies, especially with us here in LA. Uh, I yeah, think that's a problem. Can I be? The, you're being honest. Yeah, I think that's a problem. Yeah. Also, would you really fucking care unless it was somebody that you knew? You're like, oh shit, this is real. It's home. I totally care. Uh, I care that it's happening. What I'm looking at is I feel. A little bit, and I could be wrong because I'm I'm not I'm not a I'm, I'm not a scientist. I'm definitely not um, anybody that should be taking notes on this shit. But I definitely feel that it's something you cannot quarantine people because it'll probably do the opposite. I feel it'll be do it'll do uh, the opposite of what we want. I I agree. If this lasts we, too long, we definitely have to. Um, you got to find it and catch it and kill it, right? So that's how you do it, because if people keep spreading, it's bad news. But if you don't allow people to make a living, because yeah, when this comes back, because when this comes back, we will not be able to feed our kids. And I say our as humans, we will not be able to feed our kids. So that's what scares me more. So I'm trying to go about my life as much as I can. I have Josh saying it's not the flu. This is a crazy ass virus that spreads like evil. And it's true. Yes, right. It, like this, this thing has spread quicker than anything that we've ever had documented. Right. God, we're getting into some, it, uh, uh, I, they I don't want to even, I didn't want to go I don't down think you, this shit. I don't think you can help it though. I really don't think you can help it because it's, it's on a, everybody's yeah, mind. It's the only thing we can talk right. about. Well, I'm trying to take your minds off this shit. Sorry guys. No, no. But, uh, it, Knowing that it hit somebody close to my camp. Right. And then knowing how close it hit to my camp. And it could it could be floating around us right now. And my mom saying that she wants to come over. And knowing Which I that, have no problem with, sure. But then knowing that she could take it to my grandmother, who that would be a serious right. fucking problem. Now, like you and me, I'd like to. You well, and me, we'd be fine. Right. We we would be able to work our way through it. Right. Well, my maybe. grandmother. No, maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah. Well, there's that's people, the there's younger too. folks yeah, out there's, there. That there's people that are way more healthy that are fucking right. getting hit with it, and they they are fighting it. Fucking fight, my friend. Yes, I I, I I feel um. I'd love to know what people think about what I'm saying to where I'm also on the other side where I go, am I being irresponsible by still going out and exercising and working out at the park and taking my dogs for a walk and, um, and still getting together with my friends. Um, and I'm still willing to, I haven't seen my parents since this actually, but I'm, not opposed. My parents are, ha I'm, they're welcome to come over. Is that irresponsible? But at the same time, I, I, I feel that it's bad news if we're, we're going to quarantine ourselves, not go to work because for some reason the grocery store seems okay. The Starbucks <laughs> seems okay. Standing in line to get in somewhere seems okay. But being in nature is not okay. I don't get that. I don't, I don't, I'm not understanding. So I'm not understanding that. And either way, there's so much of us, especially in Los Angeles, that we're going to be on top of each other. That's just the way it goes. Can I can I bring in other stuff? Yes. Real quick? Uh -huh. So Korea, Korea, which was one of the hardest hit countries by this at a very early stage, has curbed it and they never shut down any of their businesses. People were still going to work. But the first thing that they did is they implemented because they, for some reason, had all the tests to be able to make sure that people who went to the doctor mm -hmm. got tested first. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy theories. start. Rolling. And then also, every time somebody stepped into a subway, anytime somebody went to work, they had thermometers there, masks and things to, to implement that they were trying to protect themselves took their temperature and said, okay, you're okay to be here. Mm -hmm. Disneyland in Shanghai 
opened up two weeks ago. Really? Reopened up after two months of being shut down with limited hours for people to be there. What do you mean two months? Two months. They've been shut down. They've been this shut down since. This has been happening for two months? They have been shut down since fucking January. Hmm. Disneyland Shanghai is starting to open up all their things, but with limited time, like the way limited hours, everybody who comes in needs to wear a mask. Right. Everybody who comes in needs to have gloves. Everybody who comes in needs to have wherever they go multiple times throughout the parks, throughout all, like throughout all of their uh, whatever entertainment, food, anything. Everybody sits down. So they get their they they get their temperature taken. Okay. Well, I know that's happening in hospitals that, around here. That is a fact. Not it, it. Not it's not happening nearly fast enough because South Korea, or not South Korea, Korea, yeah, in itself, North Korea had their first documented case at the same time that America did. Okay. Their their statistics Okay, so although uh, being a country that's stacked on top of each other too, yeah. their statistics are going down fast. Fast. Okay. Compared to what we have going on. I'm gonna say some shit too. All so right. in North Korea, that's a whole other world right there. They don't give a fuck. A lot of them are like robots, man. They like that shit. They like to act like stormtroopers. You know what I mean? It's it's fun for them. But that's what do you mean? What do you mean? It, it's shitty... fun for them to get sick? No, not get sick. It's fun for them to do... I'm not saying the citizens of North Korea. I'm saying the uh, authorities of North yeah. Korea to act like stormtroopers. So do you think that I've they're... I've never seen... Do you think that they're messing with I, and I've the never world... even been to North Korea, so I don't know. But just things I've seen, it they, they are more stormtrooper-like than I've ever seen in my life as far as the authorities. It really seems like that to me. So, and I also don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You have about. no clue what the fuck you're talking about. And by the way, neither do you. I have no clue what the fuck I'm neither talking do about. Neither do you, either. and neither I, do we. I agree. We all don't know what we're talking about. But from the. From and my cause, point cause, is, cause my point I'm sitting there reading all we this don't, stuff. No, we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, and they neither. They feed us. We're only getting what the government gives us. That's all we're getting. And people are getting sick. So we know people are getting sick. You know how hard it's been? Because, cause, okay, Wuhan. That, that much we know people are getting sick. But I think what, what media is feeding us, I cannot believe all of it. So, all right. I agree with that. Right. I, I very much agree with that. Because I have spent the last two days, because China apparently has opened itself back up for business. Okay. And like from from what has been fed to other countries, they have seventy five percent of their workforce going back in. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to watch their their economic growth. I'm trying to watch like what what's going on through their countries and the spread of the disease. There is nothing I can find. I can't find it on YouTube. I can't find it on Google. Nothing is being relayed to us how that country, which is supposed to be the country that we're all watching because they're the ones that went through it first and now they're re-implementing actual everyday life. Once this thing is all over, man, the conspiracy theories Holy are going to fly. Fuck. You're, you know, how you, it's hard to shut me up in the first place. They're going to fly. But... I've been watching this shit and nothing is, you can't find anything. There's like a block, there's a block on fucking Google to try to find anything that's, I, I look at it, you know, you know how it took me an hour and a half. Pour me another drink. It took me an hour and a half to find anything on fucking, uh, on but, uh, Shanghai guys, reopening. But guys, uh, online and everything, please let me know. Am I being responsible yeah, if, by, by going out and offering my friends to come over? Is that, am I being irresponsible? Please let me know. Cause I I'd love to know, cause I you know I've been asking my my mother who was a, a medical professional, and uh, she's just like, no, nah, just be careful, just be careful. If people but, have a flu, if people are feeling hot and not uh, well, then they can't come over. But nobody knows what being careful is right now because this is a fucking yeah. If you're sick, don't come shit. over. If you're sick, don't come over. Like uh, I want ice, no ice. Uh, oh, on the well, rocks pretty much it's it's pretty it's it got pretty melted we're dead. doing a it's four-hour podcast we're, we're just we're just drinking no no but i would love to know if some people think i'm being um irresponsible irresponsible or not paranoid enough i get that like 
But and that's also a mind of a business owner. I'm also going after all this. How the hell are we going to bounce back financially? Right. How is that going to happen? Because not only my little business is tiny. Now there's businesses that they owe 30 G's a month to just be on Coenga Boulevard, to be on Sunset Boulevard. They have to close their doors right now. It you can't afford that. And then they go, well, they're saying that. You don't have to pay rent within. No, but it still needs to come back. So and then you go. Exactly. But no, it goes. What about the renters? What about the people that own the buildings? You know, you think the people who own the buildings are all a bunch of Trumps? No, uh, no. They're a guy that worked his whole life to, to and then bought this building. Now he's renting out office space and now he's not getting those. So where does he go? That's how he makes money, right? Apparently, they're supposed to be pushing back all mortgages all fucking business loans, all rent stuff. But I'm not pushing I, I'm, back. Doesn't mean it exactly. Doesn't, it doesn't mean it's not getting paid. It's gonna be pushed back with interest. Right. No. Well, maybe not with interest, but it will be with interest. But maybe not. Well, point, so, my point. So, either so three, way, three months of mortgage without right, getting added, paid. Right. It's still three fucking months of mortgage. Right. It's not like it disappears. It's still there. I agree. So that's. My question is, is, is it worth the quarantine? Cause we're just going to die another way, you know? And that's, I think that's the way a lot of us are looking at it. I'm saying us as business owners, it looks at it. We're going to die another way. And not to mention a lot of us are going to start looking. I'm not going to say us. A lot of people are going to start looking for other means to make money. Yeah. Other means to to support their families because if you're a, a family man and if you're a man that supports his family you're going to do what it takes to support to feed your kids listen if if your yeah. 20 year old daughter who just moved out of the house all of a sudden starts posting instagram pictures with her venmo boom that's a great example no i'm just saying no, no, it's funny but not funny that is a excellent that, example that has happened with many of many of my friends that i consider artists and i that is I, an I go, excellent example wow you got a good business fucking plan and then all of a sudden their business plan fucking fell to shit that's a great and example. now they're twerking on instagram and yep. posting up their venue and their father and they were being a model for a clothing company and now they're trying to do I butt pictures or whatever uh, well, i'm just saying they're a model for for J Crew. How, yeah. how old is that? But anyway, <laughs> they're all Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, whatever. Tommy, Hilfiger. whatever. They're a model for something, and they're doing fine. And the father's like, "Oh, she's a model for the." And now she's posting up pictures of her vag, trying to get Venmo posts. Yeah. When you're the father, going, I. But the father can't even get the money coming in because he got laid off from his machining job that they don't need. And he money. can't afford to pay her fucking apartment. Which he will. Which he will. So she'll move back home and then they'll all be miserable together. Well, okay, no. While she's twerking on Instagram to try to but get some a, money to pay for groceries. That's an example. That's an example. It's a funnier example, but uh, that is that is a real example. Yeah, it's pretty fucking real right now. So that that was kind of my thought was I think will p- more people die and get ruined from the quarantine and shutting down businesses than the disease. Not to mention nobody has fucking the insurance that will be like, "Hey, yeah, you deserve you deserve to have this fucking test." Right. Right. But it, <laughs> I don't know I'm, and I'm, I'm not I'm going uh, into shit. And I'm not smart enough to know. And I also don't have children and I don't have those things to deal with. But I do have uh, bills to pay and I do have uh, mouths to feed. So it's like. I I think we lost people. I don't know if my my thing's not refreshing, but I think that we lost people on our. On the quarantine talk. That'll do it. Well, everybody's been listening to that shit all the time. Well, good. Let's get the fuck out of here then. All right, kids. I love you guys. Trying to get out of here for an hour. All right. Peace. (laughs) Bye.